uh, my name is Raf. I am playing Grinner, a barbarian human uh, running from his past as an ex-soldier, now turned mercenary. Hey everyone, I'm, I'm Jared. I, um, I'm playing the character of Luther. Uh, he's a Dampier. Uh, he is a fighter that specializes in firearms, a bit of an investigator, and I am the great, great, great uncle of uh, Grinner. Hi, I'm Jacob. I'm playing Tithla, the Goblin Ranger. Uh, she is a wonderful hunter and medical genius. Hi, I'm Haz. I'm playing uh, Theodore Ursa, the satyr druid, who's a kind of a, a charismatic druid who's unwillingly taken Tifla un under his under his wing as she's followed him through the, the forest for the past few months. G'day, I'm Tom. I'm playing Jonal, the Asimir wizard. Um, he is on the pursuit of good and evil, to have, uh, finding out the best and worst in this world and he's doing that with a little bit of naivety and optimism and i'm on the dungeon master of our curse of stride campaign hello 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 hello, hello everybody welcome back to curse of stride it's been too long we left off on a bit of a cliffhanger last time and unfortunately we didn't have a session last monday but we are back tonight to finally find out which members of this team are gonna die. Um, it's rough. Seems like Luther yes. at this point. <laughs> seems like Luther. Jared is on his way. Uh, for those of you who can see the overlay, you'll see that he is uh, grayed out at the moment. He is on his way. Um, but if he's not here in the next five minutes, uh, unfortunately, I just I think it's gonna be a couple of crits from that vampire, and there's nothing I can do about it. It's out yeah, of my hands. Yeah. I really wanted to prevent this, but um, I again, mean, if only there was one all-powerful hand yeah. over this entire game it's a shame it's it i know it is well, what can you do we don't where, have that so yeah it's just it's rough it's really rough and um sometimes you just gotta know when to hold them and know when to fold them and this time we're folding his character sheet up and throwing it in the bin and that's just wow. how it plays did you call no. this session one of the team dies question mark <laughs> I thought about calling it Bloodless Coup Part 2 for the rhyme. I quite enjoyed that. Um, just because that is quite a good quite a good uh, rhyme. But no, I've, I've ended up going with the uh, the classic Bound by Blood because I get the sense we're going to get to see some really cool blood magic from Killian tonight. Plus a vampire drank most of Killian last session. So it's probably good that we have that a bit of weird. a... What do you mean? Just when you say what you said. You don't know, like the phrasing weird of it? Weird kind of phrase. Well, drag, yeah, just the... Him. Someone yeah. drank Killian, a lot of Killian. <laughs> just a weird sentence that you used. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Hopefully I've... He does uh, have a red drink. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very suited for tonight, Killian. Red Gatorade. <laughs> check it. Check it out. Oh, yeah, Josh is... Oh, God, Josh. Oh. Very nice. Suited. That's it's outstanding. Uh, Blackcurrant squash. Oh. Yum. But for tonight's purposes, it's the blood of the innocent. Uh, so... Yes. Or the not so innocent. Or the guilty. Or himself, as, to, as it was yeah. last session. I do, I do like the idea of saved like, by the adamantine. Yeah, well, yeah, thank goodness for adamantine. But we'll we'll yeah. we'll go over all of that in a recap. Um, before we do go too deeply into a recap, I just want to thank everybody who came and joined us for the Return of the Giants session last week. Um, that has been absolutely loads of fun getting deep into the homebrew lore side of things in our um, in our campaign Return of the Giants and with Glory of the Giants the new 5th edition module that's just come out there's been a lot of really cool things we've been able to implement so Jared has actually switched his character over to the new Path of the Giant Barbarian subclass which is actually pretty damn cool uh, I will be doing a bit of a um doing a bit of a call out whenever we start implementing any of the new return of the giant sorry any of the new glory of the giants uh stuff in return of the giants but um it came out at a very opportune time i have to say after we had like fully committed to a completely giant themed and giant centric campaign literally i think like as episode five came out it got announced so it's, it's been quite quite uh, quite perfectly timed actually <laughs> so very happy with that um the other fun news i have to announce is for those of you who live in brisbane uh in october there is a really cool uh almost like a little convention called the collector's market which takes place um this year uh i am going to be doing a, a live session uh as a player at the collector's market um I'm going to be dressed up as my character, who is a, um, a tiefling 
uh, sorcerer. <laughs> so I will be in you cosplay. You an easy costume then. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I will be in cosplay <laughs> for the event. Um, I will not be coloring my skin. Uh, <laughs> I will go as one of those rare tieflings who does not have fully colored skin. But yeah, I've got I've got contact lenses, <laughs> horns, everything. Um, it's the 14th and 15th of October uh, at Distillery Road Market. I'm going to be doing the live session on the Sunday, which is the 15th. So any of you who are in Brisbane or uh, the surrounding areas want to come to a really cool convention and come and see me play live in a one shot. Um, come and check it out i think the 50 it's like a 15 dollar entry ticket for the whole weekend uh there's loads of really cool stalls on there's going to be some really really cool products some i've seen one of the people there has set up some really cool handmade dice towers for DD. i am frothing over them because they're like modular and you like there's little magnets embedded into the wood and they've been laser cut in wood they're so cool so yeah That's i know so I, i'm gonna be i'm probably gonna spend a bit of money there getting some cool accessories which i'll get to use very rarely seeing as we play mostly digital nowadays but um very very hyped for that so yeah if you are in the area i believe we're going to be on stage at about 10 a.m come and check it out i've never played D in front of a crowd of people before uh so it's gonna be fun <laughs> and yeah it should be it should be interesting we're, we're doing a one shot that's based in a desert kingdom of tabaxi um and yeah I'm, I'm really excited. I'll give some more details as we get closer to the event. But uh, yeah, for anyone who's in Brisbane and wants to come and watch, I would love to see you there. Um, we will be doing, as the Lost Archives, some live shows in the near future as well. I don't want to give too much away, but there is a potential opportunity coming up not too far in the future. And I would love to have some of the yeah, i can see i can see jacob being all, <laughs> all subtle there just continually <laughs> tapping your nose and pointing at me thank you for that. um it's very off-putting the more you do it uh, it's gonna be yeah so i'll i'll have some good news about that too but yeah this this will be a good little foray into the world of uh the world of live play and hopefully i can learn a lot from this <laughs> before we then dive into it ourselves doing a uh, an in-person session so yeah just thought that'd be really fun to announce now and i'll have some more details about that coming out really really soon that's all the news from me. I know everyone's been absolutely loving Baldur's Gate 3. Raph, you found the frog? I found the frog. I heard that the frog was nasty. So I picked the frog up and I threw it as far as I could. And then it almost killed everyone. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I think everyone here has had a run in with the frog now at this stage, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It's, um. Mm unbelievably powerful um my my no spoilery story recently is um there's a point where one of your um lovely people who helps you at camp one of your companions there's a question about whether or not one of them is a shapeshifter who's been like they've been replaced by a shapeshifter i will let you know right now there are consequences if you get that choice wrong like i did <laughs> and those consequences are pretty fucking dire <laughs> I have chosen not to save Scum just because I feel like I should live with the consequences of my actions. But I'll be honest, it's the closest I've ever come to breaking on my rule of that and just reloading because <laughs> it was brutal. And I, and I really had to question myself as a person based on my decisions as the results of that decision came in because um, I thought I'd done a pretty good job. But no, <clears throat> turns out I am hopeless at detective work and I should never be allowed to solve crimes of any nature. I... <laughs> I will inevitably kill the victim, <laughs> so don't let me don't let me near don't let me near a crime scene. I am not good at figuring out who done it at all, and this is really sad because I'm quite a big fan of true crime, and I thought I was better than this, but it's uh, it's sometimes it's hard to have the mirror held up to see your true reflection. I accept it, and I have to move on with my life now. Um, when you guys get up to that bit, please tell me how you go because I've heard it can go a number of different ways. Uh, hopefully, none of you make the mistakes I made. Um, is that an act two. Uh, it's beginning of act three okay. so yeah when when you get to it please tell me how it goes for you because I'd, I'd love to know if i'm the only one who uh who got that terribly wrong um jared hello welcome hello everyone sorry i'm late no all good we are just about to start the session so that's actually perfect timing oh okay <laughs> all perfect all righty yeah. without any further ado let me read a recap from our last session and we will jump straight back into the story. A new team of the Tempest Adventuring Guild have found themselves lost in the dangerous realm of Barovia. Trapped by strange magics, the group have now traveled westward, away from the sinister castle which reportedly houses the immortal ruler of these lands. Having teamed up with another adventurer, Killian, 
the team have found themselves key architects in a coup. After spending a day preparing, some through recruitment of guards, others through removal of key targets, the time of the bloodless coup has arrived. With the town all gathered in the square for the festival of the blazing sun, the team took their positions. While Luther and Grinna stood on the stage with the Baron, pretending to be guards, Jonor sat up near the pyre in the centre of the town square with Ismark and Amelia. Meanwhile, Theo, Killian and Tithla, standing ready at the far back of the crowd, prepared to launch the distraction needed to trigger the coup. When the Baron called for the prisoners on the pyre to be burned, Amelia refused, triggering Jonor to signal the start of their plan. While Wolf Theo and Tithla raced out of the town with the guards hot on their heels, Grinna and Luther turned on the Baron. However, it appeared the plan was not to go off without a hitch. While Jonor hovered above the crowd, his SMR wings on full display, a dark shape dropped from the skies above, crushing him into the ground. The attacker revealed itself as a vampire, a particular angry one in the form of a young elven man furious for the death of his lover at the hands of some, some unknown attackers. Killian immediately revealed himself as the one responsible for this vampire's death, hoping to distract the attacker long enough for the now panicking townsfolk to escape. This plan worked well. Way too well, uh, as the vampire turned his full attention on Killian and almost took him out. <laughs> with the rest of the group having now dealt with the Baron and rushing to save Killian from certain death, we jump straight back into combat. We did in fact leave halfway, halfway through a combat last session. Just to place everybody uh, in the theatre of the mind, the main stage at the far end of the town square has been completely emptied. A number of the guards that were standing there with Luther and Grinner are now focusing on getting the townsfolk who are gathered in the town square out of the area as quickly as possible. The vampire had grabbed and broken the neck of a young woman who was trying to flee. That's what triggered Killian to call out, like, focus on me, I'm, I'm the one who murdered that bitch. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Which worked well. Uh, <laughs> too well. Um, Jonor is still a little bit of a ways away, having been knocked out of the sky by this vampire attacker. Uh, Theodore is currently in bear form, having charged... Direwolf, actually. Direwolf form, sorry. Direwolf form. Yeah. Having, uh, yeah. having charged through the crowds of people to get to Killian and, and save him from this vampire Aramis. Grinner dashed like 80 feet last yeah. session. Like, to get, to get up He's his a speedy boy. He's a speedy boy, and you. I think you also attempted to um, lock some manacles onto the uh, the vampire too, as well. No, uh, so I, I you I changed your mind and on myself. Yeah. Oh, no, he's gonna he's gonna first. try and beat he's gonna try and beat yeah. the vampire with the manacles. That's right. I was gonna say. So you, you were gonna you were gonna try and manacle the vampire, but then I think you changed your mind when Jacob made the joke. Well, he could just disarm you literally, because <laughs> you said oh, he can't <laughs> just he can't disarm me now. I've got it locked to my wrist. And then uh, I think Jacob pointed out the fact that you could still be disarmed quite literally at this point. So that's when you switch to the, uh, I guess it's like a makeshift flail, right? With these yeah, manacles, one cool. end around your wrist, the other end just swinging around you. That's yeah. the plan. It's, I imagine kind of like that primary school ultimate fight winning technique, the windmill, <laughs> where you just spin your arms, <laughs> <laughs> circle around you, just with manacles attached as well. Um, at the far back of the crowd, Tithla uh, and her drake are uh, taking up a position behind a series of overturned carts and wagons getting ready for a shot on the vampire. And Luther has just left the side of the Baron who has been knocked, knocked almost down to zero hit points, manacled, and has now been left with Amelia and one of the other guards that you trust. So at this point, as far as you're aware, the Baron is like the coup has been successful in terms of taking well, the Baron out. I hope so, because he's got two manacle, sets of manacles, he's hogtied, and I asked him to strip all spellcasting focuses off him. So hopefully exactly. we're all good. At I this stage- I to be gagged as well from memory. Yes, he's gagged as well. I think I asked him well. to be gagged. Yep. <laughs> he yeah, yeah, couldn't yeah. say anything. So there's, we've- There's not much more you could have attached to do with to the arrest though. That was just- No, that fun. was kink. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Don't yuck someone's yum. Exactly. No, I said it was I for fun. <laughs> I got that from uh, Randy Feltface, that phrase, don't yuck my yum. <laughs> but if anyone has never seen the comedian Randy Feltface, you need to do yourselves a favor and Google it. Not right now. Stay with us for this session. Afterwards, we'll <laughs> Google it. Alrighty. We're going to jump in at the beginning of the round, which is Aramis's go. That is where we left off last session. Ah, good. With Grinna having rushed up next to Aramis, Killian 
Uh, I believe you've had a turn since you were knocked down. So you've had a chance to stand back up again, Killian, but you did sustain an injury, didn't... Oh, no, you didn't. No, no, because you weren't knocked down to zero. So you didn't no, sustain an injury. No, no. so you're fine. Because he, he was going to yeah. go down until we all... Until, yeah, yeah. we realised he had adamantine. Adamantine <laughs> armour on. Yeah, so I, for, for all I of you... and didn't look at my sheet. <laughs> no, that's okay. <laughs> but, like, in the moment, I kind of see how that would happen. And I liked the idea that, like, because we'd, we'd gone through the process of describing Killian's character death. And then we realized, Jared realized that Killian had a uh, adamantine armor on. That was Killian's like life flashing before his eyes and his fear <laughs> manifesting itself as this, oh fuck, I'm dead <laughs> in this moment. So I did actually, that, it wasn't a waste. That was actually really good to be able to go through that description. Um, alrighty, at the start of the round, as Aramis turns towards these two newcomers, the large bear, uh, sorry, large direwolf that has barreled down the main street toward him, as well as this scarred mercenary in a long jacket with a manacle strapped to one wrist, he turns towards the two of you. Do not get between me and my prey. You will regret it. Uh, he is then going to reach out and tries to strike at both of you. Uh, does a... Uh, does a 16 hit you, Theodore? A uh, 16 in my wolfy form? Oh, it gives me four... Oh, I didn't... Sorry, I need to... I know what my AC is with unarmored defense in bear form. Um, so it would be 10... 12... 14... Plus 1... Yeah, no, that hits. Okay. AC is 15, so I, re I remember in the future. It's not too <clears throat> bad. Um, 12 points of slashing damage. As you watch as he's, he like holds out his hand, his fingernails grow in length into these almost <clears throat> claw-like appendages. He hisses and strikes down, cutting into your, your wolven flank. Uh, and for Grinner, does a 17 hit you? Yeah, just. Just. That's going to be 11 points of slashing damage as he cuts into you, hissing loudly. Um, as he does this... Um, oh, he... wait, sorry. I fucked up there. Um, I'll just heal myself half that because I'm raging. Yes, yeah, yeah, just yeah, yeah, because you're raging. So it's And this isn't magical yeah. damage. As he slices into you, ha, he then turns around towards you, Grinner, and you watch as suddenly... Actually... Who's within... Is Jonah within 30 feet still? <clears throat> yeah, he is. Jonah, you legend. As he turns towards you, Jonah, you watch as this... This, like, the, the young man, he has uh, light blonde hair that's been sort of pulled back into this rough ponytail. Uh, he looks quite young, maybe in his 20s or 30s if he was a human, but slightly pointed ears indicating some elven heritage. And as he turns his red eyes towards you... Suddenly you find yourself looking into the very center of his eyes as he just stares at you and goes, Please, help me. I need you to make me a wisdom saving throw, please. Oh, Is Tom here? Because I actually can't see him in my... Yes, Tom yeah. is here. Yeah, I'm, video. I'm, okay, I'm going to... I'll be right back. I'm just yeah, just a quick refresh. I don't think I can do... So, is he casting a spell? Uh, he is not casting a spell. This is a charm Dang. effect, though, if you have resistance to being charmed no, or frightened. Don't think, don't think I do. All right. Wisdom saving throw, hey? Wisdom, Wisdom saving, saving throw, please, Tomaz. 17 <clears throat> is very, very nice. As the vampire turns his gaze towards you, Jonah, please help me. For a moment, you find yourself lost in the red glowing eyes pulled in, the world around you kind of fading before, I'd say for Jonor, suddenly your subconscious kind of goes like, and in this textbook I read that vampires can use some sort of charm effect and sometimes it can allow people to be like, taken over and that sort of knowledge and, and understanding of what's happening allows you to snap out of it as you sort of like shake yourself awake, the figure before you resolves back into this monstrous form, brow furrowed teeth extended claws dripping with blood from the two companions he just cut into you are no longer under any charm effect from this creature oh yeah maybe i could uh, help you oh jesus christ <laughs> who's that <laughs> I'd probably be probably be by Paylor's light <laughs> would probably be the version uh, that I would go for <laughs> but yeah sure alrighty uh, 
at the end of the vampire's turn, he spins back around towards Killian, looks down and just smiles, pointed teeth cutting into his lips slightly as a little bead of blood drips down. Not his, probably yours, Killian, from the last time he bit deep into your throat. And that is the end of his turn. Killian, it is now your turn. Well, that's a little bit unsettling. Um, I am going to, seeing Grinner and Theodore join the combat, I'm going to sort of take a side step, so we're sort of trying to flank him a little bit. Uh, as I do, I draw my sword, which is the first time I've done it, and yep. as I do draw the sword, it sort of emits a moon m- moonlight across the edge of the blade, and as the moonlight shines, it begins to cloud with clouds and the sound of thunder begins to come off of it and I'm going to stab straight into him using boom and blade very nice uh, he needs to make a con save if he tries to move away correct yes uh, is it advantage with flanking uh, not advantage but you do have a plus so for, plus. for like someone on the other side of you it's a plus two to attack plus um, two that's it yes so 16 yeah. to hit yeah so I think it's like an optional rule instead of Yeah, it's it's one of the very advantage rules. is pretty hard. <laughs> advantage yeah. and especially with the cover, half cover and quarter cover, it becomes kind of insane with the way that works. So I use the variant AC rules, which I quite like, where half cover gives you a plus two to AC, um, quarter three quarters cover gives you a plus three to AC. And it just kind of makes it's it's much easier to kind of manage at the moment. And then for, for flanking you just get a plus two to attack. Uh yeah. Sixteen hits. Killian, oh, as you hit. strike forward, do you want to talk me through the attack? So I'm going to try and strike him in the abdomen, and as I do this, like the cloud almost encompasses him like an aura, but there's like a bit of a red tinge to it where the blood magic is fused in with the cloud. Um, so he's going to take... Uh, that is going to be... Nine. Hang on one second. That is because that's rolled both of them. That is going to be nine points of slashing damage, and then he's going to take not that much because he takes an extra d8 as well. That rolled that really weird for me. Sorry. That's okay. So two two booming blade. Uh, two booming blade damage. Two booming blade damage. If he moves away. Oh no. Does he? Does he I think he takes that straight at away. Level, at level five, if he gets takes it straight away, and that gets added to the attack, and then he'll yeah. get two d8 if he moves. Oh my goodness, amazing. As the as the blade strikes in, this sort of ripple kind of moves out from his clothing and as the vampire opens his mouth to scream, suddenly this echoes across the square, drowning out his voice. He looks down, the thunder force kind of rippling across his skin as he turns back towards you, Killian. Is this how you killed her? Is this how you tore my partner apart? It is not no, but I can show you that if you like. Oops, sassy. <laughs> Just try and run, bitch. <laughs> Very nice. Um, he, he, that's uh, that's all from him. He only has sort of a quick moment to speak back. Anything else on your turn, Killian? Uh, that is it on my turn. Very, very nice. I decided to up the ante of the part of music. Right, that's okay. Tithla, it is your go. <laughs> Just click Killian will freeze. Unwell. <laughs> Did I freeze? Was it? Sorry, Jacob. Yep. No, not Am I good now? Yep. Can you hear me? You sound good. Oh, am I awesome? Do I continue to be awesome? Uh, does Killian look unwell, to put it nicely? Uh, Killian looks unwell, to put it nicely. I look unwell, good. but I also look like I'm healthy at the same time. That makes sense? Okay. Yeah, okay. Are you bleeding and does it look like you hurt? No, I look like I've been... I look drained, but I look healthy otherwise. I'm trying to not met her. Okay. <laughs> does it... Yeah, 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 yeah. Does, does anyone look like they've been super fucked up? <laughs> Jonal, probably. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Jonal would look a bit hurt. Okay, well, I can't breathe. Yeah, the wings are completely covered know. in blood. Is it your blood? Okay. Well, again, I can't reach. Unfortunately, um, no. Okay. It's some <laughs> random onlookers. <laughs> You're cracked open like a Capri Sun. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. No, that's not meant to get blood this, all over you, though. That's a straw. <laughs> yeah, he didn't have the straw. 
He just tore it open. <laughs> <laughs> just squashed the packet. <laughs> uh, does Tithla think that she could heal Killian at all? Uh, I would say that you know that your healing magic would help restore some of Killian's lost health, but then the grey pallor across his skin indicates some darker magic at play here, some darker effect that might not be able to be healed just in this moment. Oh, well, that's not helpful. I don't like that. Uh, all right, so that's fine. Tifa is going to tell her Drake, use her bonus action, tell her Drake, Drake to uh, 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 come over there and uh, get ready to hit the empire to turn your friends, okay? Thanks, mm. Drake. Are you calling your Jack? Oh no, are you calling it Draco? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, the only I'm other thing I'll say. Last session. I've been never saying it. The only other thing I'll say is that um, I'm getting a little bit of robot from you, Jacob. Is that just me? Yeah. No, I mean, no, huge. it's yeah, Damn. big time. All I heard was Draco, and that was enough to chuckle. So that's what I. Yeah. Was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's having some yeah. He's issues. I've looked going? it up on uh, WebMD, and it looks like he has network connectivity issues. Oh, looks, he's back. He's back. Yeah. Look at him go. Oh, it doesn't sound great, though. Am you I know. better? Am I better no. now? Oh, there he is. That's all right. That's all right. Gosh, I'm good. Okay. Now we're back on deck. Wonderful. <laughs> Draco, can you can you go over and help our friends out, please? Thank you. Uh, and um, then... Is it... Yeah, no, no, you go. Sorry. And then Tithla's going to... Uh, jump up on this cart that seems to be just in front of her so she can get a good lay of the land and try and take some pot shots at this fool who dare challenge her friends. Perfect. So um, where did you yep. want to move uh, Dracob? I've just given you control of that character and I've also put the nameplate in place for Dracob. Lovely. Thank you. Um, <laughs> probably over me, between the two friends happy. that we know better. <laughs> She's going to go. It's going to go over and stand between uh, Theodore and Grinner. Killian's a friend, but the other two are better friends. No, that's fine. Oof. As as the the large dog sized dragon, essentially, just minus the wings, rushes forwards next to Theodore and Grinner. Aramis looks down, momentarily confused by this creature before turning his attention back to Killian. Lovely. And in that moment of distraction, yeah. Tizla's going to shoot her wonderful longbow at it. Oh. oh, that's nice. What makes it wonderful? The fact that it's it hers. hits on the 19. Yeah. Yeah. Baby. Baby. Uh, and her second one, 16. 16 is just enough to hit. Would you like to roll me some damage, mm. Tizla? Lovely. First one hits, what, 11 piercing? And the second yep. one, four seven. So 18 piercing off those two Brilliant. shots. Very, very uh, nice. And the Drake is going to... No, she said to help the friends. That'll do. Okay, brilliant. Anything else on your turn? Nah, that's a bonus action. That's a bit of a move. That's an action. We're happy. Perfect, Mundo. Jodor, it is your turn. Seeing that uh, vampire try to get into his mind, he flicked through memories of uh, study he'd done of vampires before and... As he thought about notes he had made, he grabs out his, his wizard book and flicks through the back. He's like, oh, it's, I know it's in here somewhere. And he looks up at the vampire and says, I, uh, I bet it sucks to be a vampire. As he casts um, <laughs> Tasha's hideous laughter. Amazing. Wisdom saving <laughs> throw from the vampire. Um, and I'm as tested. he does that, I'm yeah, going yeah. to uh, just make him fall prey to that with their use of um, portent. Oh, he, shit. he has been really quite uh, intimidated by being squashed like a fly onto the ground and uh, yeah, he wants this one to go down. So what's the portent roll? Um, it was... Um, Just because I need to still add the wisdom to it. Yep, fair enough. It was, uh, I only used a two. A two? A two and an eight previously. Yeah. Um, yeah. Jonor, uh, that two that you're forcing upon him was one better than what I rolled. I actually rolled a natural one for that wisdom <laughs> save, but still, that's a great use of portent. But oh, no, no, wow. but you didn't know that. There's no way for you to know that. So that was really lucky. Like, because I could have easily rolled better than that. It's just. Yeah, yeah, look. Um, as the. I'm still happy with the decision. Uh, yeah, 100%. I mean, you just knocked this character prone. You watch as. I mean, this vampire is feeling rage and grief 
And then suddenly with this lame joke laced with magic, you watch as the snarl like almost just shifts for a moment. He kind of shakes his head and you hear this. (laughs) And you watch as he kind of drops to the ground laughing hysterically. (laughs) It sucks to be a vampire. (laughs) Just losing his shit over this joke. (laughs) <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, you know, someone said it wasn't going to work, but I, I knew it was going to work. And then he sort of, he sort of hobbles, like in his half crushed state. He's sort of heading over to the crate where Pitha is trying to get a bit of cover over there. <laughs> Perfect. And uh, that's what he does. He hobbles away. Brilliant. That was <laughs> very, very nice. That's a great use of uh, of Tasha's Joda. That's fantastic. Uh, alrighty. Thank you. Next up is Theodore. Theodore. Um, the figure is prone on the ground in front of you. You have advantage on any melee attacks you choose to make. Already had that with pack tactics, but probably going to be biting the throat. Do you know what? I'm going to take that advantage away then because you're so smug about it and uh, you now have disadvantage. <laughs> no, no, no. Obviously. <laughs> Still have pack tactics. What would you like to uh, do? Yeah, I did lunge, lunge at the throat. Fantastic. While he is wide open. Uh, 16 will hit. Did you want to see if you get a... Um, Yes, I, I will. Uh, there'll be a plus two to whatever I do there as well for my rage damage. Yep. I'm an angry okay. dog. Nope. Uh, fun. 22. So if the first, the bite definitely hits. Um, I need to make it a wisdom save for him, don't I, to see if he's able to throw off the effect of Tash's hideous laughter. That's a nine. He is not. Um, so 13 damage on the first bite. Plus two. Oh, plus two. Right, because you're raging. Yeah. 15. You tear into the vampire's throat. Normally, when you've been able to sort of wild shape Theo and you've you've bitten into creatures, that, that warm, very iron-tasting blood sort of flushes into your mouth as the first thing. This is very different. The vampire's blood is cold and icarus, almost like this dark, black, very congealed mass. And as you bite in... It tastes foul. But if anything, that just adds to your fury. As you rip back, tearing out part of the vampire's throat, you watch as the lower jaw drops a little bit and you can see the inside musculature and his carotid artery kind of like hang loose a little bit and slowly start leaking this black Icarus blood down his front. Gross. Yep. Uh, would you like to do anything else? Um, no, nah, that's that's about all I, all I got at the minute. All right. Uh, next up in the initiative order is Grinna. So, this guy's had a, a bit going on. Um, what is he looking like health-wise from what I can see? How bad? Uh, his they? throat has been torn out. There is uh, There's two arrows uh, sticking out of his chest. One where his heart would be, another one in his other lung. Um, he also has a gaping sword wound around his kidney that is still rippling with power and occasionally a little like flecks of blood are being pushed out of the wound by that thunderous damage. He's not looking great. He's looking, looking, I mean, it's hard to tell because he's not bleeding like a normal person and this sort of pale, pallid skin tone makes it hard to judge how he's feeling. At the moment, I, I mean... He, he's laughing. Normally when you'd look for kind of an expression of pain, you'd be expecting to see someone with this level of damage either in shock or screaming. He's just laughing. <laughs> Vampires suck. <laughs> just on the ground. Okay. Um, I am looking at the carnage that's been wrought around the place in this whole situation. I think has Grin been some been, carnage wrought. Um, Grin is going to fly into a rage because he lost that on the last one. Um, And taking his makeshift um, set of of manacle flails. um, (laughs) Flailicles? Manaflails. Manaflail. I like manaflail. That's good. um, Is going to... Oh, actually. Oh, actually. (laughs) I... I'm going to manacle the other end of the manacles onto this guy's wrist. Okay. He's going um, for it. Yeah, do you want to make me a um, 
I'd say a sleight of hand check. Or I would also argue an athletics because you could like pin his arm down while he's laughing and lock it on. Or you could try and like dexterously get into the position and, and grab it. So I would argue that you could do sleight this of hand or athletics. athletics. Uh, he's, that's he's a like 21. Yeah. yeah. You just, you just reach down. You like, basically I like the idea of you kind of, you just drop onto your knees. One of your knees like pinning his arm flat to the ground at the forearm and you just <laughs> click the yeah. manacle onto his wrist. Uh, yeah, your left arm, I believe, was the one that was manacled. Is now manacled to his right arm. Nice. Uh, is that that would be a full action? I would imagine. Definitely. Yeah. All right. Um. Good. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm imagining a, you stop hitting yourself as you like wail you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! I look. People pay good money to see that kind of entertainment. Um. <laughs> Luther, you watch as Grinner manacles himself to the vampire, who is still prone, still laughing. Well, I look at my pistol, look at the short sword I have that's silvered. Now, I don't know, obviously, what effect silver has on a vampire, but I like to think that maybe it might a, be the best. Do you want to make an arcana or a nature check, see if you can figure it out? Okay. Surely you'd know, right? <laughs> Well, that's out of all of us who know, the <laughs> thing is though, if it's based on his experience, he would think silver does nothing extra because as a dampier, silver does uh, no eight. eight. I mean, you've heard legends of, of things like garlic working, silver working. They can't cross okay. running water. Like you've heard all these like stories about vampires. They sparkle in the sunlight. I mean, you don't know which ones are real and which ones aren't. It's, it's tough sometimes to yep. sort out fact from erotic fiction. I'm just, um, I'm just going to go for it and see if it works. <laughs> I don't know if it does. I'm going to grab the silver short sword. Sorry. He's on the ground cackling. I think it's the best time to just start furiously stabbing and shanking him on the ground. Uh, wow. Yeah, cool. Uh, you just, <laughs> just wander so on up, pull out your there. short sword, put your gun away, pull out your short sword, and then just prison shiv him while he's lying on the ground prone hell yeah <laughs> um so yeah i get uh, level five two attacks let's do it yeah. so with advantage two and plus two i guess on top of that because he's surrounded so let's yeah. stab him uh 24 and eight uh so you so, take the 24 so six yes i think so you do six piercing yeah. damage there uh, i'm gonna do another one I better quickly roll a for Ooh, a, a tashes as well. I'll just I'll just roll to see if he overcomes tash. He doesn't stand up, so it's still the crit's still counting. So don't worry. Yeah, that's that's. It's fine. okay. So actually, he he also that is a nineteen. I think that probably passes the uh, the save. So that's yeah. fine. Just as he stops laughing, as you as you spear him in, <laughs> Killian, not Killian, as you spear him in Luther, um, you hear this, <gasps> and then the laughter suddenly dies as he looks up and kind of freezes. You take this opportunity and you just stab the sword down directly through his nice. chest. Uh, so, that is going to be because it's a crit. You I'm get also going to add. Top. I'm just going to chuck in the because um, I can do this. Uh, when you hit with a weapon attack, I can uh, expend one superiority die to add to the total, which means it gets doubled as well because yes, it's it does. a ride on. So your so superiority die is definitely D8, do that. I believe. Yes. So um, so anyway, so at so the moment roll, it's yeah. five and six, so eleven damage. I'm just going to roll will be 19, eight. and then whatever you roll will be the additional. Two. So 21 Two. damage, though, whatever it is. Not bad at all. As you um, stab down... Yeah? Yeah, no, uh, yep. I'm all good. I'll let you finish your little thing, but I am going to action search. Okay, brilliant. <laughs> As you stab down with the blade into his chest, he is... Oh, uh, 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 you think you can hurt me? I've suffered far worse. And then you action oh, well, surgeon uh, go by again. Means, uh, Sorry, before that. Give it another shot. Can I, as the blade is plunged into and he's saying, haha, you can't hurt me, uh, the Drake will infuse that strike with. Does that mean that gets double? Cold damage. That might get double too, actually, because it's a ride on the crit. Do you have to I well, I uh, Is the infuse a reaction? Yes. Okay, then... Uh, I have it no is, idea if that actually is... It, I'd say that it'll be applied the same way a smite is, which means it'll be crit as well. <laughs> That's I'm weird. happy if you want to say I called it too late and can just do it. Do you it want to play it to this next roll? Do you want to play it to the next roll that he's about to do? Because he's action surging. I mean, he's got a hit on the next one. If he hits on the next <laughs> one... I, I'm going to... What does it say for infuse? Because I'm betting it says before the... Like, on the next weapon's attack, you infuse rather uh, than on a weapon attack you've already made. As a reaction... Uh, 
Do, 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 do. It'll, it'll, I don't think it'll uh, be when like... When another creature within 30 feet of the drake that you can see hits a target with a weapon attack, the drake infuses the strike with its essence. Okay, so that's then after it is when it hits. Before. So you, uh, you could... Then you can apply it to the... So I haven't made my other attack happens. yet, so I think that's actually fine. Yeah. We what's, spit that cold venom on it. Um, what's the... What's the do you want to roll for the infuse and then we'll add the maximum dice roll onto it again? Lovely. It's a 1d6. So that's 4... It's another 10. Six, so 10. Not bad. 10, 31 10 cold. damage together not bad not bad at all and if as silver frost, does anything yeah as the frost <laughs> spreads across the chest of the vampire from this sudden blast of icy breath from the drake standing nearby you watch as the vampire sort of <laughs> sort of shivers in place the cold seeming to actually uh actually do quite a lot of damage oh that's nice mm. Awesome. All right. I'm going to do another flurry of prison shanks. <laughs> uh, the 12 will miss, actually. 12 and 12. 12 will not hit. As you go to stab down, the ice that's oh. coalesced across his chest just deflects the blow. At 13 and 11, same again. As you stab down a, five, a second five, time or a fourth six, time. six, four. That's horrible. That's some <laughs> unlucky rolls. As you, as you stab down twice, the ice that has grafted itself across his chest and frozen his blood actually provides almost a small shield and as you stab into it with the blade the blade just slides off the ice not not strong enough to get through and actually stab him itself stab him through the ice cool um, um anything else in your with my bonus through? action i'm gonna quickly pull out one of my daggers and stab him again <laughs> so this is an offhand so i don't think you this is your, um, offhand proficiency so you actually, for this. it's just the dexterity. no no it's it's all so everything goes off like normal except um, when you take the attack action and attack with a light melee weapon you're holding one hand, blah, blah, you don't add your ability modifier to the damage of the bonus. All right, so attack. it's just a proficiency. So, yeah. yeah. It's still all good to hit. It's just it's just yeah. flat D4. It's just a dagger. Yeah. I'm just trying to get whatever extra I can get in there. No, so absolutely. let's do it. 21. 21 hits, 5 piercing so, damage. Oh, yeah. Uh, that would be 1. Oh, to be only oh right because the d4 it's not plus the was four. a one one piercing damage yeah. um, the eight the four was better you just like <laughs> you, just, you just as you stab down with this dagger you just graze his arm and there's like a tiny little paper cut there that's fine there's so many flourishes going on there yeah. all these like him moving around trying to like dodge them all me like just absolutely just trying to throw everything in there there's just so much be so yeah, there's, a, there's a lot going on here um as cool at the end of your turn, Luther, anything else? No, no, I think that's it. I've got, Alrighty. Uh, yeah, action surge, so yeah, all good. At the start of the round, Aramis's go. You watch as he slowly stands up, brushes some of the ice off his chest, and you watch as his throat, some of the skin starts to re-knit. Some of the arrows, again, push themselves out and drop to the floor, clattering as some of his wounds begin to heal closed once again. Nowhere near, like, fully healed to how he was before all of this brutal damage, but, yeah, the damage that you've inflicted begins to reverse itself as his body begins to heal. He cracks his neck and looks around, completely surrounded by all of you. Well, seems you are not completely useless. Ah, oh, well, good luck in this. And you watch as he dissolves into mist, this cloud of smoke around you. As he does so, you hear this howl come from the outside of the town and rushing in from all four walls. Actually, Jacob, could you roll me 3d6? I would love to. I Thank would you. absolutely love to. Don't roll high, don't roll high, don't roll high. You could roll 3D6, nice and high for me. Yeah, three d six. Yeah, was so love good. it. That's eight. Brilliant. That's a one, a three, and a four. That's fantastic. Um, you did good, buddy. Brilliant. Could have been worse. Could have been better. Um, from you around this thing that didn't feel like a spell, did it? Uh, not a spell. Uh, let me double check. Okay. It's not a spell, check. is it? No, it's shape changer. Um, Can I try and breathe him in as a reaction? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gruna is great at that, right? Do you want to try yeah. and do that? I've got lungs yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> you want to try and breathe him in? Yeah, I'll do yeah. the wolf will breathe him in. Okay, and I'll, I'll join in on that as well. See what's happening. Just see how much you can siphon. Okay, I'll get you both. I'll get you both to roll me a Constitution saving throw, please. 
Oh my goodness. Only you two. Um, obviously, uh, Grinner, the manacle around your wrist just drops um, as he turns into mist. 24, Grinner. That's good. 24 is good. I got a plus one on that. 14, 15. Uh, that is just going to be a pass. As you go to try and breathe this in, the mist begins wrapping around your throat, <clears throat> choking you as you splutter. This isn't mist. This is some poison <clears throat> in the air resembling mist. And as you try and breathe this in, it burns at your throat, burns at your eyes, your nose. And you find yourself sort of coughing and spluttering. But uh, Grinner is just like, oh, I've spelled worse. Yeah, Shakes his head. in poison constantly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, emerging from all corners of the town, you hear the sound of running foot... Uh, I'd say the sound of running footprint, uh, footprints, the sound of running footsteps, and emerging from various corridors in the town are wolves, eight of them, dashing through the streets towards you. They use their full movements to mostly dash up next to you. There's some that don't quite get where they need to go. Um... What the hell are so, these guards doing? Uh, they're getting the people to safety. <laughs> oh, the whole crew trumped. that was outside the gates, did they just get mauled by wolves? <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're all dead. <laughs> yeah. Um, as Aramis turns into mist and slowly dissolves, um, you watch as the mist kind of coalesces, moving up towards the top of the platform and moving beyond it, disappearing from view. I, I would like, I, I know we're probably still in turn order here, yes. but I would like to do everything in my power to keep an eye on the mist and um, not lose it from view. Okay, do you want to make me a... Well, it's going to be tough because it, it moves out of your line of sight. So as he moves beyond the edge of the platform, you can't see around it from this position. But if you wanted okay. to run around, you might be able to catch a view of him next turn. Um, all right, I have rolled for the wolves. It is then Killian's go. Real quick, Owen. Hello. Hello. I have a question for you. Yeah. Uh, you're like the uh, DM here or something. You run the show. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Uh, I'm just wondering if Hello. you can recall if on the previous map yeah. that we were looking at on our end, yeah. if there was some sort of marker that indicated that Tithla had hunters marked. Oh. Him. Uh, I you had not recall. hunters marked him. I've just jumped back to the previous token. Yeah, and cool. there is no hunters marked token. I am sorry to Thank say. Thank you very much for checking. Appreciate it. Sorry. Yeah, it's not true what this chat says about you. I think you're all right. <laughs> Actually, it would have copied across because I copied all of your tokens plus his token okay. from that no map enough. across to this one. So it would no one wants you go back and we the whole episode. Facts. And it copied his health too. So it would have, yeah, the, the health all were copied right. across from previous maps. So if you had hunters marked... Um, Cool. In 30 episodes, to... I'm going to go back, rewatch it. I know you do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident you didn't Hunter's Mark because we would have put the token on. We normally put the net icon, I think, for Hunter's Mark or the skull yeah. and bones. Yeah. That's cool. Sorry, Grasping buddy. at straws. That's all right. Thank hey, you. Hey, look, if there was ever a time to grasp at straws, this was it. Uh, alrighty, Killian, you're up next. So technically, because he has willingly moved. Yes. Oh, he, yes. He, the thunder damage. Missed, Yes. He would take the thunder damage, yeah. He would. Although, as Mist, is he immune to bludgeoning damage? Or thunder damage? I'll tell you when it's a description. description. It doesn't. Um, it it just says he turns into move. Mist. <laughs> I reckon you can damage Mist. If you can breathe Mist, you can thunder it. That's a good yeah, question. But he'll take, um, he takes 2d6, uh, sorry, 2d8 thunder damage. Yeah, let me have a quick look because he turned Yo. into mist and then moved. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go off. What I'm gonna do? It looks like there is a stat block for vampiric mist. I'm gonna assume that we can safely use. Here we go. Can you misty step or thunder step to stop the damage as a vampire when someone's turning into a cloud of mist? Here we go. Also, if I breathe part of him in, if he turns back into a vampire, am I just gonna have like a couple of toes in my lungs or something? <laughs> yep. You don't know. <laughs> yeah. If we don't breathe that into a cat, well then part of him be contained within a fraction of a cat. So we just need nine more cats. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny that you're going for specifically nine. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna assume that when he turns into mist, he becomes like the vampiric mist, which is like the the wretched remain remnants of vampires that will prevent him from finding rest, indistinguishable from the mists they lurk in. Yeah, I'm gonna use the stat block that he is that if he like as if he was a vampiric mist, which is an existing stat block. In which case, he is resistant to it, but not immune. So how much damage would he have taken? Okay. It takes five, so it's like half that. So two. Half that. Hey, look, that's still, that is still awesome. Still as, the, 
as he, as it goes off, you watch as the mist gets like burst apart for a few seconds, and that's when Grinner and Theo go <gasps> try and like breathe him in, <laughs> and then it disappears uh, and dissipates as he moves off. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm happy with that rule. That makes sense. That because I was, I was going to give you at least resistance damage. I'm pleased that there is an existing thing that we can use stat block. Um, Killian, it is your turn. What would you like to do? So I'm going to turn to the look, look at the wolves that are beginning to surround us and just shout out, you fucking goward. And then blood begins to come out of the jar and it begins to encompass my body and then it just freezes and almost like dissipates as I cast Armor of Agathus on myself. Oh, very nice. I love the idea of almost like pulling the frost from the frost drake that had been sort of like dropped onto the ground. You like freeze the blood using the cold that's already there and form this armor of uh, of dark blood across you. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. And then um, that'll be my turn. Very, very nice. Next up in the initiative order are the wolves. Um, the wolves have already used all their movement. They don't get to move any further because that was as part of their summon. The wolves attack. Um, Theo, one of the wolves is going to make an attack against uh, you. Does a 13 hit? No. I didn't think so. Uh, let's have a look. Next up is uh, Grinner. Does a 16 hit? It does. Yay. Grinner, you are going to take... Oh, it's big numbers, Grinner. Four points. <laughs> And damage. Half of that for raging. As I roll two oh, ones that's... plus two on that attack. <laughs> uh, Tithla and Jonor, two of the wolves make attacks against you. Tithla does mm-hmm. a eight hit you? No, it does not. No um, chance. That Jonor wolf ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing. Jonor, does a 14 hit you? It does. Jonor. This is very bad news. This is very bad news. Jonor, you take six points of damage. As the oh, wolf precisely. bites into your leg. Precisely. Jonor was huddling around, running away. Oh, and no. I imagine the wolf gets him, just like jumps on his no. back. No! And he drops to the ground. No, Jonor! Okay, Jonor. I'm going to need you to make me a constitution saving throw. The DC is six to avoid taking an injury. I think you're going to be okay. okay. No, no. Natural one, natural one. Come on, come on, natural one. Port Six! Oh. 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 <laughs> Close. That is a pass just as you avoid taking an injury. Jonah, as the wolf Precision. jumps on you and savages you, Tithla, you I mean, as you, as you like just step to the side as the wolf hurr, bites down an empty air, you're like, nothing, nothing to it, Jonah. And then you turn around and see Jonah just being savaged on the ground, <laughs> his throat being partly <laughs> torn out as this wolf <laughs> begins tearing into his flesh. You, Jonah looks at you with this last cry of, ah! and then just drops. Uh, oh my goodness. Um, and then Killian, a wolf is going to make an attack against you. I can't believe that knocked you to zero, Jonor. Uh, that is a 14 against you, Killian. No, that misses. Oh God, that's a bad cough. Misses, does not hit. Um, the wolf just bites into your armor of Agathus. Oh no, because the, the armor would be triggered on a hit. The wolf bites in and just bites down an empty air next to you. Uh, that is all of the wolves go, the ones that had already moved up. Next up is Tithla. You watch as Jonor just drops this wolf, savaging him. Um, Jonor? Jonor? Oh, come on, seriously? They're just wolves, they're not that scary. <laughs> I love the disdain. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, um, well, here you go. And she reaches into her pouch and pulls out some, like, herbs and smushes them all up and cast cure wounds on Jonor at second level. Nice. Or... <laughs> like just throw some basil leaves at her. At him <laughs> <over the bed. laughs> uh, yeah, that's 11 points. I picked these Jonor. on a full moon. It probably heals you or some such shit. There yeah, you go. I'm, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Jupiter was ascending, Saturn descending, something like that. What? <laughs> just spit on him. <laughs> well, you gotta, you got to mash up the leaves. you got to masticate them. Nope. Uh, and then <laughs> to say, um. For those of you who've just learned a new word, masticate means to chew. Not what you thought it was, you filthy, filthy gutter minds. Hey, you don't know me. Um, True. <laughs> That's a good point. You can do both. Can do Drake, both. You Drake, can. Bite the dog. Drake, bite the dog. Good boy. <laughs> Drake, bite the dog. <laughs> oh my god. Anything else in your turn, Tithler? 
Uh, Dracob attack. No, that's Dracob a attacks, action, obviously. Bonus action, yeah, and then Dracob will attack. Uh, I love that we call it Dracob. I know, it makes me so happy. <laughs> Whose joke was that? We need to reward that person. Is that you, that Raph? Raph. No, yeah, that's Raph. Nice. Oh, I didn't do the... I hit the wrong button. I'm sorry. Ah, okay. uh, buttons are hard when you then have to jump around like a silly, silly person. I do. I it. recommend having two tabs open just to make life easy. No one asked you. That's true. <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. No, no, no. He's got a point. He's got a point. I spoke out of turn. All that's right. That's point. an eight to hit. Eight. That's, the dice have rewarded your sass <laughs> with a roll that is literal ass. <laughs> as, you just, as your Drake goes, <laughs> goes to bite the dog. Probably a Drake's feeling a bit like... I'd say conflicted about attacking a fellow hound-like creature <laughs> as it goes to bite the other dog. I don't think it is. Oh, it's not. Okay, it's just shit then. Um, no. Yeah. It's the first time. <laughs> first time. As like, your drake goes to bite against the wolf, the wolf <laughs> growls back and your drake sort of like shies back away, unwilling to attack. Anything Thank else you. in your turn? Tithla. That's it. We're not going to move anywhere. Jonor, you are prone on the ground, bleeding profusely, um, but you have regained 11 hit points thanks to Tithla's um, quick menstruations of you. Would, uh, so I've done a transformation using my Celestial Revelation, getting my wings. Would that yeah. transformation have gone? Ended when you dropped to zero. Yeah, yes. pretty sure I'm sorry. that would have been the case. Very sorry so, to say. Uh, That's fair enough. Um, I think Jonor, he would have been huddling, the, the pound would have jumped on his back and was like mauling away in the back of him. I reckon with that so breath of life he's been given, he's gonna then turn over and his first reaction is to get this fucking dog off me. He's gonna use his mage hand just to try and shove it five feet away. Yeah, perfect, so you use your telekinetic feet. Uh, it needs to make a strength save, 15. yes. Uh, that is a fail, that is an absolute fail. That is only a four. Uh, I rolled shit. Yeah, wow. Um, as you as you shove the wolf back out of the way, Jonor, this this mage hand, the the very musculature, <laughs> gloved hand, just appears yeah, in front of you and just yeah. poof, just pushes the wolf back out of the way. Um, he's still on his back. He's gonna for the second time in this encounter. He's gonna start scrambling backwards, just crawling back into the uh, that crate there, and he's gonna drop a um, shatter just as a reaction on that dog that was just biting him. Um, so, so is it an action or bonus action to do mage hand um is a bonus action to shove oh, to shove telekinetically yeah perfect then and it's uh, an action for shatter yeah perfect um what's the range on shatter because i think it's a it's area 60 of foot long it is area of effect yeah. um it's 10 10 foot uh, cube all righty perfect and you wanted so, to drop it on that wolf yeah he's just going to crawl backwards crawl himself onto the um onto that trolley just so you know and drop it on him oh so if you, if you go up next to tithla you will not be caught in this if you stay on the ground in front of the wagon you will be caught in your own shatter spell <laughs> just so you know look he's yeah look he's on fight and flight and he's he's getting away from that yeah awesome as you as you so, move yeah, back up onto away. the uh onto the wagon and drop the shatter um it will make a constitution Ooh, saving throw awful that is not great damage. That's okay though, because it doesn't really change six, the damage. It's a six on the con save, so it is not great. Um, as the as the shatter spell goes off, this blast of thunderous energy emanates out from the wolf. You don't even hear its howl of pain as it takes five damage. It is just muffled by this, and then the sound of ringing in your ears. And um, that's it for him, Theo. Now, do these wolves appear summoned to my wolf eyes? Can I detect whether these are real wolves or... These look like real wolves. It looks like these wolves might have arrived. Uh, they might have been on standby. It, from the way that they kind of emerge from all around the, the town, you get the sense that they've been here in wait, essentially. Do you want to make me a quick nature check, Theo, to see what else you can garner from this, uh, from this moment? Yes, I do. Oh, that's one of the skills I don't have a lot. So of. while while you're doing that, I just want to point out for everyone listening at home, uh, at the end uh, of the last session, 
after we all logged off, uh, we were then talking about how, hey, we're going to be okay in this fight because of action economy. There's so yeah. many of us, yeah. and only one of him. <laughs> we're not telling, really him. We're telling him that. that. <laughs> that's Joe. I'd forgotten that conversation. That's hilarious. But do you remember? Do you remember when you said that? I was like, oh yeah, that's a good point. And then I sort of laughed at you guys, and you were like, yeah. And then you started. Are you sure you need to dig? But I'm going to do. Three. Turns out you're a dick. This is. This you is. Actually, you actually laughed when <laughs> he's not alone. And then locked off. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's that right. Exactly I right. remember that. <laughs> I did. I you so were good. forewarned. Um, that's a natural twenty, Theo, on your nature check. Yeah, these are real fucking wolves. Um, these are real wolves. This is a pack of wolves. They are very like clearly real wolves. The the fur, the texture. These are no illusions. As you look at them, the damage that's being done to them. You can see some are older, some are younger. They seem to be following. Uh, two particular wolves who are sort of standing to the back a little bit, seemingly guiding the rest of the wolves, probably the, the two pack leaders, the uh, the matriarch and patriarch leaders of this pack. They've been here probably lying in wait, ready to attack, and some command from the vampire called them. I would also add with a natural 20, you can see some of them have blood across their maws and claws as if they have not just no, no, come no. from <laughs> hiding. It looks like they might have uh, potentially been oh, yeah, bad, snacking or uh, attacking. We can't be held accountable for that. Um, but no, perfect. You, you <laughs> point out that they were a real pack with a, a, yeah. a leader that are here. Yeah. I assume as a dire wolf, though, I'm significantly larger than yes. all of them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like it's like a, um, a chihuahua next to a... Uh, I'd probably say like maybe like a, a Labrador or a Golden Retriever in terms of the size difference. Oh, you just yeah. tower over them. Cool. Uh, I would like to let out a incredibly intimidating a woo, which I can do if the stream yeah. would like to do it. I want that. Yeah. A woo! Howl. You get a pretty full good. howl. That's pretty good. That's um, pretty good. I want the animal handling these guys to try and cow the pack into submission. Yeah, I'm going to give you a bonus to this. I'm going to lower the DC slightly because you are a dire wolf and your awu was uh, was pretty good. It was, was pretty good. And the commitment I uh, I enjoyed. All right, let's go. There was no hesitation either. You just jumped straight into the awu, which I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm a big fan of. Yeah, again, nobody asked for it. Uh, it was really weird. I did. Yeah, yeah there was some asked. Um, could I... Do I, wait, do I have a... In, in, no, I don't have inspo. When you said you gave me... A bonus of being a dial I've lowered the DC. advantage by any, any it's not any, an advantage I've lowered the DC as you cry out I'd like you to roll me a d4 please Theo uh, three uh, the three closest direwolves to you are frightened of you and ah. immediately as you let out this howl shiver and cower beneath your form I will put a little marker on them so that we know that they are frightened. Very nice. Anything else on your turn? I assumed I'd, that was all an action. I'd say that's an action to do the, uh, like, build up and do this terrifying howl to intimidate them. I'd yeah. say that makes sense. Um, no, I think I'm all good for, for bonus actions right now, so I'll... Um, I, I guess I would have end, ended my, my, my rage then, so that, that's that's fine, yeah. Ra rage, rage is yeah. done. Rage is Dunzo's. Uh, Grinner, it is your turn. So, in full single minded Grinnerness, yeah. as well as the fact that he's in a rage right now, he's not yeah. he's not given up on old mate Misty Boy. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, sure. I, I'm going to. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm, I'm going into another full dash, so another 80 feet, um, Holy shit. heading in the direction of where he went and hoping to lay eyes on our little foggy friend. Yeah, man. Um, do you want to roll me a perception check as you dash through the streets in a full sprint back right. towards the main stage? Ooh. Seven. <laughs> Uh, Grinner, please feel free to move yourself uh, 80 feet in whichever direction you choose. 
Um, well, I, I will I will leave that up to you in the direction that old mate went and so, from last I saw yeah, him. Yeah, okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80 would take you all the way down towards the southern half of the town square as you sprint past the large platform, looking around at the various buildings, trying to spy this creature. The problem so, is that there is mist coating the ground, rising from the waterways just towards the north of the town square, these sort of open sewer, steam and mist. And as you look around, you're like, aha! And then as you turn to your right, you can see that there is mist starting to creep in from the streets towards the south as well. And that's probably the moment where Gruner goes, oh, fuck. Oh, shit. So, <laughs> so a couple of things. First thing, um, I believe I would have had attack um, of opportunity from that wolf that I ran past. I rolled it missed you unless a uh, unless an 11 hits you. Ooh, it missed I didn't bother describing um, it because it just missed immediately and I was like, oh, well, don't worry about it. Second thing is, um, given the name Dracob, is yeah. there a chance that I get a, um, a fancy boy additional roll for having come up with a fun name? <laughs> You're asking me if would I award inspiration for Yeah, you a know, pun. it's it's a it's a push, but you don't Do you know yeah, what? Do you know what? It. Don't ask. It. It's good. Do you know what? It's it is good. it is a pretty good pun, and the fact that Jacob has now taken it on board and I'm gonna have to deal with this for the rest of the campaign. Um, <laughs> means that I, I I don't think you deserve a reward. If anything, you deserve to be punished. <laughs> no, 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 go on. You may make that roll with advantage. I was going to award right. you inspiration for the Drake of anyway. It's Drake and Maisie Peters from here on out. <laughs> uh, if, 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 the, uh, if the second one is mentioned, there will be punishments. <laughs> Consequences of a not-so-fun variety. I, you may roll again, uh, Grinner, with advantage. You may roll. You may I, roll will, I will take that. Was that, um, that was perception. Perception, please. Perception, okay. It can't be worse than it was, it so watch be, me though. fail it again. Yeah, Jonah, yeah, Jonah yeah, could yeah. potentially portent this. I, I don't think he's got any good rolls to portent. Oh, I think he's too far away for it anyway. Yeah, he, is he, now, would, yeah. Be. he would be. And no, you had a 2 and an 8, didn't you, Jonah, anyway? So that's, that's, you don't want yeah. to give him the 8. So after a good look around, I'm assuming that still doesn't seem. So after well, a, no, 12 a good... is significantly better, Gritter. Um, as you begin looking around trying to desperately spy this vampire, you catch a glimpse of a figure rushing up a set of stairs just towards the north of where you are. You just catch the edge of their movement. You're not sure whether or not it was the vampire, but you do see a figure running up the top of the stairs. I'm going to yell out as loud as I possibly can, uh, assuming I have anything left on this turn. I'm, I'm going to yell out... Shouting, shouting and talking is a free action. Okay. Uh, I'm going to yell, um, We killed that whore in cold blood. Right there. She begged for her fucking life. And... <sighs> oh, cool. okay. Yep, you make All that on his own. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what you say, oh. Grinner. You yell that out into the empty street. There is silence that greets you. Um, Good thing we are the guards. Luther, it is your go. <laughs> yeah, thank God. <laughs> I'm not going to follow after Grinner. <laughs> Bye, Grinner. I'm going to, I'm going to, like almost like back to back, surrounded by wolves. I'm going to join sort of the, the group party. I'm going to see these. I'm going to have a quick check the look at everyone. See that these two are on their own. Yeah. So I'm going to. And Jonah fire. is not looking good. No, I saw Jonah go go down. Yeah. So he's back up, but I'm going to, I'm going to pull my pistol back out. Um, and I'm going to shoot at least this one here. Yep. So let's give that a shot. Uh, 13 to hit. 13 hits. <laughs> they're just, they're nice. just wolves. They're just wolves. Okay, they're yeah, just, perfect. Uh, just 12 wolves. piercing damage to it. Yep. They're um, wizard slayers, all right? They're not just wolves. <laughs> I'm going to chuck a they're security die on that too. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to chuck a menacing attack on that. So this might be a little yeah. different because I know okay. the vampire probably wasn't frightened by this, but these guys actually are capable of being frightened. So Yeah, um, you watch as the wolf um, it needs to make a wisdom saving throw. What's the DC? So I do four damage to it as well. The DC yep. is 15. 15. Um, yeah, uh, you watch as the wolf, as this blast of gunpowder, black powder and smoke erupts from the end of your pistol as you use your bonus action to tuck the uh, um, tuck the blade away that you had and pull your pistol out. Yep. Let off the shot. 
the wolf turns in fear. Its eyes go wide, and then you watch as it rolls over and dies with that extra damage. <laughs> the okay. extra four. That, it, does the, it does the job then. If that's what killed it, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just watch. It's just, it's no, just a hey, wolf. Look, you just shoot it through the chest, a... and it just goes, <laughs> and then drops. That's a more permanent solution than the frightened, so I, I, can, I can handle that. Yeah. Um, my second shot, I'm going to attack the other wolf attacking them. Yeah, the one's going to tiffle. Very nice. Because if these, those guys are clear, that'd be nice. Absolutely. 24 to hit, 10 piercing. Definitely hits. 10 damage. Easily done. The shot that splits the wolf's flank open again. This bloody wound opens up at the side of the shot. The wolf howls this awful screeching cry and bears its teeth looking for the source of this damage. But there's nothing there. I mean, you're, you're far enough away that the wolf isn't sort of able to figure out straight away that it's being shot. It's more like a... <laughs> it looks around trying to find the source of this <laughs> attack on it. And it's probably thinking it's got a nice, tasty meal. Yeah. You know, that, yeah. Um, Deep fried goblin tifflers, right there. Tifflers, tifflers right there. Not to mention Jonah's like just gotten, gotten back oven up. Oven baked. <laughs> <laughs> oven baked <laughs> goblin. Keeps the freshness right, in. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, too soon. Okay. For the freshest right, goblin. <laughs> got to bake it's it in an yet. oven. Oh, man. Comes with herbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, the, the crispy <laughs> char grilled outer layer is almost like a, a, a goblin crackling. It's quite nice. Oh. <laughs> Too far, Owen. Uh, anything else in your turn, Letha? Uh No, no. That, that, be, that'll be my turn. Brilliant. Oh, Grinner. At the beginning of the round, um, emerging from his hiding place, having been in the process of uh, <laughs> moving up towards the top of the housing, up towards the roofs to make a, a surprise attack down upon you, you watch Grinner as Aramis the Vampire just stalks towards the edge of the balcony looking down at you. Fury, rage crossing his face, his teeth bared, he throws himself from the balcony, not even speaking, he is so angry. As he comes down towards you, uh, he is going to make a uh, series of attacks against you, Grinner. A uh, flying elbow. <laughs> I think I might have fucked up here, boy. Crouching, <laughs> crouching vampire, <laughs> hidden God, blood sucker technique. Uh, Grinner, does a twenty-seven hit? All uh, I yeah. will say is good luck. <laughs> um, Grinner, does a twenty-three hit? <laughs> yes, it does. This could be bad, Grinner. Um, I bad. need you to die. No, so the first. Okay, so the first. This is gonna be. This is gonna be so bad, Grinner. I'm so sorry in advance. Um, as the vampire leaps at you, the first attack. Um, is a grapple as he tries to wrap himself around you. Um, could you please make me a um, athletics check for the grapple uh, or acrobatics because it's going to be a contested... Um, and is that with advantage because I'm raging? Uh, does Are that give you advantage ready? on... Let me have a quick look. I know it's strength-based things. I'm not sure... Well, what, does say, what does it say specifically? Strength-based like ability checks? Or uh, hang on. Um, you get advantage on strength checks and saving throws. It's not attacks. So athletics it is, is athletics. A check, so is yeah. a strength check. So yeah, I would say absolutely. Sick. Did you you didn't attack someone last turn though? That is true. Oh I no! You lost your rage, but that's okay because we take the first one anyway. What does change the, the, the team? There? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. We take we take the first one anyway. Um, so that's a twenty-one. That passes Grinner, which, thank God, because otherwise the next attack would have been the bite. Um, as it is, the second attack he goes to make is claws raking down across your face. Uh, does... Yeah. Uh, oh, no, it was a 23 hits. That already hits. Only really slightly um, worse. Only slightly worse. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to take 13 points of slashing damage as the vampire oh. just cuts into... Yeah, half for raging. Yeah. Oh, no, well, you're, no, no, no. You're not, you're not, oh, not, you're oh, not no. raging. 13 <laughs> points of slashing damage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. As the vampire just rakes his claws down your face, down into your chest, attempting to sort of grab onto you to bite you, you sort of throw him off, and then as he spins around and then jumps up again, claws out and stabs into your uh, your neck and chest, just hissing. <sighs> um, anything else on his turn? Nah, I think that's enough. Killian! So, Grinner had had the exact same thought that I had had, yeah. Slightly different though, because I thought that Aramis was going to go for uh, Lord Douchebag, who's tied up behind a tree. So, <laughs> Lord Douchebag. Lord douchebag. 
first of Are his name. Are you talking about Jonah for a second there? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna Lord do dog down. Uh, I wish there was a way that you could just sort of click that. Killian, as you move out of range, the uh, frightened wolf will try and make an attack against you. It has disadvantage because it is frightened. Um, You're welcome. Don't worry. 22 is my lowest roll. I rolled a 22 and a 23. <laughs> I rolled hey. an 18 and a 19. Um, that hits. Killian, it does hit. You're going to take... Um, Four points of damage. So I mean, the oh. wolf, the wolf will take fifteen points of cold damage. As it <laughs> hits the armor. Solid. <laughs> yes, because of the armor. As the wolf, as the wolf bites down, the ice just <laughs> freezes it solid across its body. Its mouth still like trying to dig down into your flesh, and you just pull your arm free, shattering the lower jaw, and just walk away calmly. <laughs> as this ice statue of a wolf just stands there. <laughs> It's amazing. Uh, 15 Am I sheets. able to see what's going on with Grinner from where I am? Uh, I'd say from where you are, your line of sight. Yeah, yeah. You can see Grinner and you can see the vampire like just around the corner of the stage as you as you peer down across. Um, you can see Grinner currently engaged with his vampire. Just shout to the others. Grinner is in trouble. These wolves are a distraction and I'll pull out the blood from the jug and I'll throw to Eldritch Blast at the creature, sort of like bending it around the stage so it goes around and hits him. Brilliant. Make me two attacks. The first one is going to be ooh, a 25 to hit. That's uh, That will hit. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately. Second one's only a 10 to hit. 10, unfortunately not, but 25 definitely hits. And that will be 10 points, 10 points of force damage. damage. Nice. As the blood splashes across his shoulder, you hear this crack as one of his shoulders dislocates. He looks back towards you, Killian. Oh no. Don't worry, little one. I am not done with you yet. But I need to feed on this fucker first. As he stares at Grinner. Uh, the wolves go. Uh, the remaining wolves will uh, rush up and uh, make their attacks. One wolf will move towards you, Killian, as you were right there. The two, the two frightened wolves that are left, they can't willingly move closer, so one of the... It's going to have to move towards Killian away from Theodore, <laughs> the alpha wolf. Uh, but that's okay, because there is one more wolf that is not frightened that moves up. And then this one here can't get 40 feet. Um, it's going to go for the closest person, which is again Killian. I'm so sorry, Killian. Well, those those are the two alpha the prior alphas no one of the alphas is dead the one that attacked Jonah was one of the alphas right. um one of the probably either the matriarch or patriarch of this pack and it is just it's just dead um the it shatter, makes sense it was one of the alphas makes yeah. a lot of sense only that an alpha could take down yeah that just moved up towards killian would it potentially have seen Jonah as a weakened target easier to attack Ooh, <laughs> that's a good question do you want to roll me a d100 do you want to roll we'll me a d100 it. let's see if it sees Jonah as a weakened target they can, move, uh, they can move 40 so feet. Rude. They so can move rude. 40 feet. 72, it does. It moves up 40 feet to Jonah. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Thanks, Jonah. Thanks, Jonah. Yeah, those angel chicken wings. Um, Thanks, Jonah. Yeah, and, and to be fair, that is the matriarch that watched the, the patriarch go down right in front of Jonah after trying to attack him. I'd say there'd be like some, some pent-up aggression here as it goes for, for Jonah. Uh, Jonah. Thanks for volunteering to take one for the team. Yeah, you bloody legend, Jonah. Does a... There's a nine hit you, Jonah, I think Jacob to roll the screw Tom yeah, over. Yeah. <laughs> he started talking. I'm like, no, stop. Stop, stop, stop talking. Stop, 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 shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, nine that's, a, that's a nine against uh, Jonah. That doesn't hit Titha. Unbelievable. It's a natural a 20. Question. Hello. I have a question. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, we're raised up on the cart. Yes, you are. are they, they'd have disadvantage, right? Because they're no. on all fours. They're harder to get up. It's got to be at least some so, sort of So, if, if you're able to scramble up on this cart as a this tiny is, goblin girl, the wolf is able to jump up on the is, cart. This is Jacob 100% backpedaling yeah. after what he just done. I've made, <laughs> I've made a critical error. Um, that's a natural 20, uh, Tifa. We're going to get to that in a second. Easy. No, let's get to Easy. it now. Let's do it now. Let's do it now. Easy, um, 
And I've rolled really high too. On two d4s, I rolled two threes. So that's going to be eight plus another eight. So that's going to be 16 Easy. piercing damage. Easy. Easy. As the wolf mauls to... Th I do like the instant karma of a nat 20 immediately after you threw Tom under the bus. <laughs> Oh, that's so Sorry, good. Sorry, trying to play the team game here. Gosh. Theo, um, <laughs> it has disadvantage to attack you because it is frightened. That means it is an 11. Um, that misses you, I'm assuming, in your dialogue. Oh, it's form. afraid of Theo, so it's going to come over and eat Tisla. Yeah, is, is it not going to run away from me? Yeah. That's, that's so it can't willingly move closer, is the frightened condition. It doesn't have to run away. It just can't willingly move closer. It's oh, already within it range. It means it has disadvantage on attack. Yeah, while you're in line of sight. Make it, uh, advantage. Make it. So that's it's just a flat fun. roll. So the first one's um, an 11. So it doesn't hit, I'm guessing. No, 11 is not hit. Cool. The second attack from the unfrightened wolf that is going to be against you, though, uh, Theo, is a 22. I think that is going to hit, I'm guessing. No, that, that also misses. Uh, that's going to be seven damage. Uh, yeah, no, I'm not enraging anymore because I spent my turn howling. Seven damage. Killian, the two wolves down against you are going to have pack tactics against the attacks against you. But it's okay because you'll be fine. <laughs> uh, you will be fine. The first attack, even with advantage, is a 10. That's not going to hit. The second attack Ooh. with advantage is a 17. Does that hit? That will hit, yes. Uh, that's going to be 7 points of slashing damage. Uh, do you still have Ag uh, Armor of Agathus up? I do, so it'll take 15 points of combat. You damage. watch as the wolf that attacks you freezes solid. It's <laughs> not a sufficient way to kill wolves. Yeah, to get hit just by let wolves. them attack you. <laughs> oh my god, amazing. As the, as the wolf goes to bite down, it just <laughs> freezes solid in place. That was a fun position I just put my neck in. I wonder if I'll do that again. Um, that is all of the wolves. Tithla, it is your go as the wolf mauls you. Oh, ch uh, chatter pitying uh, you. Look at this. Everyone picking on Tithla. Poor Tithla. Thank you. Thank Jacob. You, Jacob had Jacob opened this round of combat with, I'm pretty sure one of the wolves would have attacked Tom. Uh, make sure Tom's attacked. <laughs> Tom, Tom's down. He looks weak. He's like only got like three hit points left. So um, I, it's not that we're picking on Jacob. I gave him those hit points and I'll take them away, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I brought you into this world. <laughs> and I'll take you out of it, you little shit. I like that. That's good. That's a good, actually, I, that'd be a fun cleric idea. This idea of like, you have to repay every hit point I heal in some form or another. <laughs> the take, take back his domain. Yeah. <laughs> I like the, the what it be like the domain of balance, where like if I've healed you for like twenty two hit points in a battle, like guess who's getting vampiric touched when I'm hurt next time? <laughs> wow. Okay. I like that. That's kind of a good yeah. efficient way to do it. Uh, anyway, Tithla, not to give you ideas about your backup character, um, Tithla. Backup. I've got like four at this point. For the love of God, don't, don't make him a vampiric touch. <laughs> Cleric. I'm the domain of bargaining. Uh, how much is your life worth to you, kind sir? All of your wealth? Ah, yes, you are. <laughs> You've got the take backsies to backsie. There you go, there you go. What was that religion we came up with for the thing, the sol Solfi, which was like the the honored dead you could that could be like a part of their religion the tabaxi yeah. religion they're like any <laughs> any any life back. given has to be taken away <laughs> <laughs> to achieve balance you're then owned it shivers, owned, is, owned is, coming back. Back. <laughs> shivers is coming back um Tithla, it is your go you're being mauled by a wolf what do you do easily easily Tithla drops her longbow quickly yep. pulls out her dagger yep grabs the wolf that's trying to eat journal <laughs> by the scruff and yep. just just shanks it prison shiv i love it yep Oh, I was on the wrong tab. <laughs> Lovely thing about the dagger, we have a plus seven to hit, so that's a 24 to hit. 24 is going to hit the wolf. Uh, then we roll the d4 for damage. Plus four, that's a seven. You, yeah, you, you cut into the wolf's flesh, um, slicing through the thick matted fur. The smell of this musky, unwashed wolf, very, very pungent as you're up close, Tifla. And as you sort of like, ah! You start stabbing away. Kind of oblivious to most of that, you uh, you deal a fair bit of damage to this wolf. It looks Lovely. pretty hurt. Uh, the Dracob is going to infuse that strike. How next far one away does Dracob need it's to be? 30 feet. I did the sphere. It's within. Sweet. You are Just fine. Uh, it's another one point of damage it's on that. One Thank point you. of damage as the, <laughs> as the edge of the wound. The <laughs> The edge of the wound just gets this tiny little like blue frostbite, just this tiny layer of ice right at the very edge, like maybe like a couple of blood cells crystallize. Uh, and Tisla's going to drive straight into that frozen point to press that through the wolf's skull, hopefully 
with a 14 to hit. 14 does hit. It is, it's just a wolf. The, another seven points of damage. Tithla, how do you want to do this? Tithla sees the ice form, the small, small ice cube that formed. She pierces straight at it, pushes it directly into its brain, brain freeze, dead. <laughs> sure. You watch as the wolf kind of just like freezes and then just goes limp, dropping to the ground as you like pull your knife free. That's okay, Jonah. I'll protect you. I, I, never I mean, I put you in danger with this specifically by pointing you out as a tasty treat to this little wolf. But Exactly. I feel like there's two of me going on here, but I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way Tithler is not at least a little bit schizophrenic <laughs> from like, the interactions we've bit. seen. <laughs> uh, and then, yeah. as her bonus action, she yeah. will say, Jacob, Jacob, good boy. Bite, bite the dog. Bite the, bite dog. the dog. Yeah, I'm going to go at this. Do you want to bite okay, the frightened but, one or the non-frightened one? Uh, does one of them look bloody and hurt in some form? Uh, neither of them looks hurt yet, having then the closer suffered one. no damage. The one that's go, go the, the cleaner one. line on it. Yeah, the one straight ahead. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Uh, that's a 17 to hit. 17 hits. Come on, oh, here Jacob. We go. Four. Come on, Jacob. I mean, it's See not some a big lot of damage. That's that's one. That's one, a one damage. Jacob and ones. <laughs> Jacob's the worst. <laughs> Just like the real Jacob. <laughs> Drake. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, it was my birthday last week. Thanks, oh, guys. So- <laughs> Sorry, mate. I'd love to be Jacob in another room of your house, mate. Just. Just listening to you go, go, Jacob. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine your partner Cass just like watching Love Island, being like, "What the fuck is going on in there?" <laughs> it's better than that. Every Monday, uh, yeah. yeah, my partner plays netball, and her friend comes over here, and then they go to netball together. So for a good half an hour to an hour, they're sitting in the kitchen, <laughs> yeah. just chatting. There's two of them listening to you. Oh, yeah. Go, Jacob. We can do this. <laughs> no wonder Cass asked what the fuck I was doing with you on these <laughs> that context yeah yep so there you go that's yeah. every week every week they get to listen to that I hope they were there for the bit where you were being like broiled alive in the in the oven and you were going ah! yeah Just... there were there have been a couple of sessions where they go are you okay <laughs> like me Jacob I'm fine but Tithler from... Tithler I'm dying. trouble uh, Jonor, it is your turn. <laughs> um, there's just blood of wolves around everywhere. Um, he is trying to get away from these wolves. Um, he's still pretty rolled up from being taken down by a vampire, crawling away, being pounced by another one, being taken down. Um, he wants these things to die. Um, he's going to run off this uh, crate, this yeah, the crate, and yep. drop a shatter. Trying to hit these two wolves. So yeah, I mean, if you drop... Right actually, there. you might even be able to get all three, mate. Or, or perhaps... Let's see, let's see. What we'll do... I'll, I'll drop oh, a token. 15. What's the... Hold on. With the new, with the new measurements, you can do stuff like this. Whoa. It specifically says square. Oh, right. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Tom, if you drop so it there, you baby. Can, yeah. There you and go. there's also... Yeah, you can do stuff like that. Yeah. Right, all right. So you, drop, you can get Ooh. all three. Um, as you what he does shadow. is, as he he starts running down, and his wings that he lost, he tried to like pop them out before, but they just shrunk away when he transformed. He like turns up into the air and just throws his arms down towards that area, and he like works the air around to then cause some uh, thunder that pops out in that area. Nice. Uh, I make three con saves, I believe. Yes. That is going to be a 12, which is a fail, a 17, which is a pass, and an 8, which is a fail. Would you like to... Oh, 16 thunder damage. Holy shit. Um, yeah. The, the, all, all three. That's all three. <laughs> just watch as Jonah just Ooh. sets off this thunder wave. The explosive... Con- the one that passed <laughs> had already taken 10 damage from Tithler. So as this concussive force explodes outwards, you watch as the three wolves... Probably howling, but unable to be heard over the sound of this shatter that erupts. Just drop. The shatter as a uh, byproduct journal also shatters the front wheel of the cart, causing it to drop forward, sending Tithler tumbling head over heels onto the (laughs) cobblestone streets. 
it, Jonah would have been a bit of a bit of a rage, not a rage, but close to it. And I think he'd be taken back by that. Oh, I didn't know. Didn't think I have that 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 in me there, but okay. Fifteen damage, sixteen damage. That is nuts. That's awesome. Uh, anything else in your turn, Jonah? Or are you happy yeah. there? That's it. Alrighty, Theo, it is your turn. There is currently no wolves. Uh, there's only one wolf left, and it's attacking Killian at this point. <laughs> Would you say flicking Luther up onto my back would be an action or a bonus action? Uh, that's a good question. I'd say it's more an action of Luther to try and climb onto your back. Maybe an action for you to like get underneath, pull him up onto your back, like make sure he's steady. Because at this point, he's kind of like not working with. Ironically, you. my spider climb. Yeah, he might help. be a surface, and I could just. just yeah, I don't know how that on. actually works with other people. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I, I don't know actually how that works. I would say that it's probably an action to to get underneath Luthor, get him onto your back. Because you, you probably have to like grab him by the scruff of his neck or by his clothing to throw him onto your back. I was thinking just ducking of... the head through his legs, just knocking him straight up onto my back. And then, because my, my plan is to grab him and dash yeah. us over, over to, to Grinner. You, probably, nah. you know Luthor is a ranged fighter. You probably don't need to get within melee range with Luthor at this point, if that's what you're wondering. No, but I want him to be so grinning and die. Uh, that's actually a fair point. All right, well, uh, fine. Um, in that case, then yeah, I'll 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 grab I'll spin my action to to knock Luther up on onto my back, or at least signal to him to to climb yeah. on, and then I'd like to run my ass fifty feet, um, downwards. Um, so the platform is about ten ahead. feet off the ground. Just for some context, that that wooden platform that the um, that okay. the Baron was standing on, just just in case that influences your decisions. Well, yeah, the, yeah. If I could if I could run like on, on onto that, I think that's yeah, you're right. With ten feet up, so so I, I can get within fifteen feet with my regular regular move of him. So I'll I probably get us so. get us up onto there and and eject um, Luther. Just shake Luther off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to move yourself up onto the platform and then I'll move Luther next to you? Yeah, I'll pop myself there, ready to, to sprint sprint off and go help next turn. Next yeah, 5, 10, Perfect. 20, 20, 25, 30, <clears throat> 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, you can get... Because how far can you run in Direwolf? I'm like 50 feet, right? 50, like, yeah. Yeah, you can get there. So Easy I was just off. shy of getting there without without dashing, so... Yeah, no, you just... You got up on top nicely. Um, Grinner, it is your turn. So, I think... Yeah, so Grinner's a little bit unprepared for this. He, <laughs> we're coming, <laughs> we're coming, though. What? We got you, bro. <laughs> then, 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 you just like see us like the horns going like yeah. you're a girls guns, are coming. guns blazing yeah. and uh has <laughs> possibly uh under calculated for this event. <laughs> um, a little more than he can chew yeah kind of maybe <laughs> actually forgot to grab any weapons aside from this fucking set of manacles yeah they're still on <laughs> yeah it was it was dead set. I, I was sitting here going through my um, my inventory, and it was going to be either the set of manacles, or I was going to have to pick up my coin purse and use it as a, <laughs> a weapon. <laughs> Not the coins. <laughs> um, so I'm I'm just going to. Oh fuck it! Why not? I'm going to fly into another rage. Yeah, how many? That's, that's got to be it for your rages now, that's right? It. I think that's yeah. that's it. That's the last one. Um, so I'm going to fly into my lucky last rage and um, just wail on him with my flail arm, I guess. A flail whale manacle. Yeah. Whale. Yeah. yeah, go for it. Let's see some, let's see some attacks. <laughs> uh, what would you consider that to be? Simple this is... So, or martial? Uh, a flail is probably more of a simple weapon because you're almost like just swinging it around like a club. So I'd um, say, yeah, probably more of a simple weapon. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. And it's only so one it's arm manacles. too. It's, it's a manacles, one-handed. So. <laughs> yeah. It's manacles. <laughs> so, so the way I've kind of got it, Raph, in my mind is ranged is thrown, uh, mm. simple is one-handed, martial is two-handed. So if you're lifting up something heavy with two hands, that's kind of going to fall more into the martial. 15 is just not enough. As you swing forwards, the vampire with this uncanny speed just darts to the side, dropping down on all fours before rising back up again. Claws out, teeth bared. Uh, good. That's that's me. I guess I'll, I'll probably um, 
do one of these and get the blood out from under my nose, and uh, that's that's it. I'm gonna square off against him. Brilliant, Luther. All right, sweet. I'm up on here now. Theodore's next to me. Yeah. Um, I'll just stay up here for now. I'm just gonna just do some quick shots. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I don't have high a ground. ton of stuff left to do, but yeah. yeah Star Wars taught me anything. The high ground is incredible. It's over, Anakin. Oh, I have the high ground. That's a crit. That's See? a crit. The high, the high ground comes. The high ground there. comes. <laughs> high ground, guys. It's all about the high ground. So that's going right, to be so uh, that's 19 five, points of damage. So 10, 15, because it added. Oh, wait, hold on. No, no. What's it 19. Done? 5 plus 4, because it's plus oh, 4 for your yeah. decks. It rolled then, the crit, yep. So that's yep. Ten, 19, yep. 19. Um, I'm going to. I have one more superiority die. I'm just going to add it just to get that extra damage. Yep. So it, even though the menacing attack doesn't work against him, it's still going to be 6, 8. So what's that? 14. On top of the 19, so uh, 29, 33. Brilliant. I'll do, yeah, let me do this. I'll do them separately. So that's all my Sierra priority done. Superiority. Uh, no, yeah, 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 here we go, here we go. Got it. All right, done. Cool. I've got them both in. I just, um, I double cool. did your superiority um, die, tried to reverse it, ended up giving him uh, 40 extra hit points, and then had to reverse that. <laughs> Don't do that. I, uh, I got no, my pluses no, no, and minuses mixed handy. up. <laughs> I've been recording the wolves as um, like, I've been adding the damage that you took, and then for him, I've been subtracting health. And uh, it's a big mistake as a DM to have two different systems of health management, because in the moment, when you're just quickly doing them while you're managing other things, you make a little little mistake there. But no, that's all good. I've got that sorted now, so that is correct. <laughs> 23 are lunatic attacks mundane or are they magical? Mundane. I don't have any magical weapons yet. Bull, bull, so that would be nice. Pretty impressive. Yeah. <laughs> oh, anything else? Any anything else? In, like, um, I just did my. I did my magic. second. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's true. But unfortunately, for resistances, I don't know how it's going to go. But anyway, uh, Owen, that's a 27 to hit with my second attack and 13 yep. piercing. Alrighty. Luther. As I jump off, okay. No, 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 no. Sorry, carry on. Oh, you you had like a lot of. No, no. no, no you I go. want you to finish what you're saying first, and then I'll. <laughs> oh no, it was just going to be a little flourish, like you know, as I got Theodore next to me, I've jumped off, threw some, uh, pulled out my pistol, done some quick shots into him. But your tone then was interesting, sir. Yeah, I, mean, I was going to say Luther and Theodore, from your vantage point up on top of the uh, the stage. Uh, what's your passive perceptions? Uh, pretty, pretty high. Actually. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sixteen yes. for me. Yeah, there you go. There is no sign of Amelia or Baron Vargas. Oh, they were originally oh, stashed oh. behind one of the trees over towards the side, uh, down near where Grinna and Aramis are, perfect. but you can't see them anymore. Yay. Uh, uh, oh. Was Amelia a bad guy? Amelia is a good guy. She's one of the guards who you guys okay. got on. Yeah, no, I know, but is she a oh, bad guy? I don't know. You, you have to well, I think out. you with, just confirmed that for us there. <laughs> with with that, I will do my movement then. I wasn't going to move, but with that, I will start moving. So what, what, how how tall is this platform again? Ten feet up. Ten feet. And what's this? Is that just like a five foot drop or something? Yeah, five foot drop. Yeah, yeah. It's a smaller under platform. Um, because where... 10 feet, I should take damage. I'm just yeah. going to go 5, yeah. 10. Just drop down 5 feet, then drop down 5 feet 15, again. 15, 25, uh, yeah, 20, 25, 30, about roughly there. Yeah. Just so I can start checking to see what's going on with that. Yeah, as you, as you drop down over the side of the platform onto the sort of smaller under platform, climbing down the scaffolding and then moving down onto the cobblestone streets, you head towards essentially Actually, Grinna and Aramis. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Yeah. This requires a bit more movement. I'm going to okay. go past Theodore and then run down using my spider climb yeah, along okay. one of the posts. So that's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So a bit, a bit more, just to get a bit more so I can actually see more into that. If anyone noticed, like, it, it's not a really yeah. big, crazy thing, but it's interesting to see So you walk down vertically just... or do you just sort of like vault down using your, uh, your hands? I'm, I'm and... running down, but I'm okay. almost, yeah, I'm not like doing like a, the, the, just a, just a walk horizontal down it, walk. like at a horizontal walk. I'm definitely like vaulting down, but with the speed and fluidity that I probably did, it's a little bit sus. <laughs> with a 16, Theodore definitely sees this. Aramis also notices. As you bolt down the side, Luther Aramis turns towards you, cocks his head and goes, Vampire spawn. Uh, no, incorrect, actually. By all means, you can think that. Uh, he turns back to Grinner. 
I'll be with you in a moment. And he's going to tear into Grinner once again. Because Grinner. Um, <laughs> Poor Grinner. Made a whole thing about uh, tearing apart his uh, his love. Yeah. Well, um, at least you're raging, so that's good now. That's, that's going to help. I'm going yeah. to get you to make another athletics check this time with advantage. Okay. As you are raging. 11's not a good start. 22 is a bit better. Unfortunately, it is just not enough. He got a 23. Wow. Grinner, you take no damage from the slashing claws. However, as he then moves in, you watch as he picks you up, lifting you by the throat, holding you aloft, and then bites into your neck. Uh, Luth, no, Luther. Grinner, does a, oh no, does a 15 hit? It does, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, that's going to be... Okay, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I could have rolled way worse on this. That's going to be nine points. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you say the total, yeah. Grinner had two health left. Grinner. Uh-huh. I needed you to be alive. <laughs> the good news, the good Bro. news is... Let's have a quick look. The target's hit point is equal to the necrotic damage taken. However, the piercing damage hits you first. Nah, it's, I think this is going to be... I'm really sorry, Raph. There's nothing protecting you from this. No. Nope. No. He's just gone. <laughs> <laughs> for, for viewers. Does uh, that kill him? Yeah. No. As, yeah. As Grinner is reduced to zero hit points... He's back. Raph's back. Hello, mate. Did you did you Hello. turn your did you deliberately disconnect, or was that just amazingly timed? No, 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 no. It, it just it just shit. It was it was just amazing timing. Okay, Grinner. Here's what happens: as the vampire bites into your throat, at first the pain is excruciating, and then suddenly it begins to fade sensation sounds sight fading with it and as your vision fades into this tunnel black the last thing you see is the red dripping moors of this vampire as he lowers your body to the ground mouth still agape your blood staining his teeth his lips ah delicious and your vision fades to black. Rinner. I am going to remove you from the initiative order as your character has just died. You don't even get death save, it's just straight. If your character is reduced to zero, the target dies. Oh no, if its hit point maximum is reduced to zero. Hang on, hang on, hang on. No, 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 no. Hang on. Grinner. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. That's all. That almost was terrible. Do that to hang me. on, that was almost terrible. So Grinner, that's going to be nine points of um, piercing damage, nine points of right. necrotic damage. Also, you know Grinner's wearing adamantine armor. He's not, and it's not a crit, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Grinner, is, look, that all still counts because the last thing you see as you drop to zero hit points is the uh, the darkness closing in around you. So uh, your hit point maximum is reduced by nine. Uh, and you take 18 points of... So you take 18 points of damage and then nine of that reduces your hit point maximum. But yeah. your hit point maximum is not reduced to zero. It would be hard to do that too because he's yeah. a barb. So. I yeah. need you... I need you... And it's and it's halved anyway, Ooh. right? So nice. you're still, you're still going to drop to zero. So that only reduces yeah. your hit point maximum by four. Oh, and but how's I, it going there? I now need <laughs> you... No, no, I, still, I stick by that description. That's still a good description. <laughs> At Grinner, I still need you to roll me a constitution saving throw to avoid taking an injury. The DC is the damage that reduced you to zero, which in this case uh, is going to be nine. Well, technically okay. 18 halved two. So yeah, no, no, it is nine. It's definitely does nine. the necrotic damage get okay. halved sorry, for the Sorry, that was a con save. I'm still reeling a little bit. Actually, con yeah, it does. No. Sorry, it does. He, does. No, he, he loses his rage when he goes unconscious. So the oh, he does. damage would have knocked him unconscious. Oh, okay, but so then in that case... He doesn't have... Um, he's not part of the bear. Not part of the... Yeah. No. And, and so, yeah, just... Adam. just to confirm, yeah. because I know necrotic damage is pretty fucky when you're down, because the well, bite this... comes first and the necrotics no, after. No, so it's 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 added together. So I was just checking this then. Okay. It's actually, okay. so the damage says uh, like 1d6 plus 4 piercing plus 3d6 oh. necrotic. So it's added together. It's part of the same attack. It's not two separate attacks. So it's okay. all added together. So you're, the piercing 
portion is halved for you, so that's nine halved to four. The necrotic okay. is not. So the total damage you take is 13 points of damage. So the DC for your save is 13. Your hit point maximum is reduced by nine. Okay, and that's and a final rule. Yes, so I'll need a constitution saving throw to avoid taking an injury. And necrotic damage injuries, I will tell you now, not fun. 15 is a pass. 13 was the DC. So that is okay. You are not taking a necrotic injury from this. Just out of interest, would you like to roll me a d20 to see what the injury would have been? Uh, yes, I do. Hang on. I was, I was quite like these, these moments. Let me quickly the what if moments? Thing. Yeah, it's the, the D&D sliding doors. Yeah, exactly. 11. So, uh, yeah. That would have been deathly appearance. The necrotic energy still persists inside of you, causing your skin to appear withered and your eyes to appear cloudy and corpse-like. You have disadvantage yeah. on charisma checks, persuasion checks, but advantage on intimidation checks. <laughs> So that's Grinner all the time, anyway. It's not look like Grinner all the time. That's just yeah. that's just Grinner like turned up a dial. Just Grinner. Yeah, it's Grinner the night um, after. Yeah, I'm over Grinner permanently. Grinner, you drop to zero hit points and fall unconscious. Okay. Uh, Aramis is also because he has just drunk you. Um, Go on. Aramis is like quite that. happy about that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Aramis just got his sip on as he <laughs> Oh, that's way down. better, thanks. Yeah, my pleasure. As he drinks down Grinner, and then as he turns towards you, Luther, he just drops Grinner's limp body to the ground and steps towards you, right up, and looks down at you. Puny vampire spawn. You should kneel before your betters. And that is his full go. Uh, Killian, you'll go next. Perfect. Okie dokie. I am going to move to there. Yep, as you rush forward within sort of 20 feet, 15 feet away from Aramis and Grinner, who is currently on the ground, bleeding out. The I've dog will get an attack of opportunity. It will, Ooh. but not with advantage. Uh, that is going to be a... 11! That misses. That misses, yeah. Nice. Damn it, I was hoping to kill it because I've still got armor back for some. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I can roll again with advantage if you like, not for any particular reason, just for fun. Uh, it'll be good. It means you're, you're yeah. got, you'll have it up when Aramis yeah. attacks. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's fine. Well, yeah, we'll keep it up if he gets to me. Um, and now I wanted to do this when he was in the square. Yeah. And this is going to be some um, bullshittery. Oh, lovely. He My is technically. Kind of he's technically. Yeah. A bag of blood in a five well, foot cube. Kind of. Kind of. <laughs> kind Is he of. visibly bleeding? Yes. Very slow, okay. dark Icarus blood leaking from his wounds. I'd like to focus on that, seeing the cold damage, what the cold damage did to him, seeing as it yeah. did a little bit of extra. I'm going to focus just, on just his that it wasn't blood. Bludgeoning or piercing or slashing from a non magical weapon. So, like, in comparison. Yeah. So it was, just, it was just normal damage. Yeah, it just looked like it did more in comparison to the... Yeah. I'm going to focus on the yeah. blood of his that I can see that is actively pooling out of him. Yeah. And I'm going to use shape water to freeze the blood in his body. Okay. Because it says you freeze the water provided that there are no creatures in it. it doesn't yep. say in the in blood creatures. in the creature. Yep, that's true. Yeah. There has been some ruling on this, which is that it has to be water in its pure blood form. Blood is... What, the seven, problem seven with blood is that it's very much an emulsified mix of like proteins, hemoglobin, red, white blood cells of various different types. All of the uh, T cell uh, um, proteins that you've created, your little um, antigens and antibodies that you've actually created out of your T cells. And it's also the plasma component is actually not as watery as you might think. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to yeah. freeze the blood inside his body. Mm. But Would... what are you to say, Has? Yeah, so we googled it. Like, I, I googled this last yeah. session because it's got multiple times. Yeah, eighty percent by, by by weight usually um, blood is for, for water because the plasma itself is only ninety two percent water, and it's um, the um, majority of your of your blood there. So it's about eighty percent water. So could he use eighty percent of his spell? Yeah. So and um, so I mean, while blood is mostly down, water, it's yeah. it's not water. So um, you can't freeze the blood inside of him. Uh, but while the blood is on the outside of his body, you can freeze that and try and slow him down a little bit. I'd argue that there's if if I mean if he's covered in blood, which he 
at this point is, his own and also Luther's, not Luther's, Grinner's and yours, actually. Um, yeah. I would say that you can freeze some of that as well. Like yeah, you can, like and there's, I mean, there's also some melted ice. Can. Yeah, I'd say that you yeah. can freeze the water on him, which will slow him down. I will say that that will actually, like, I, I'm, I'm happy to actually have that halve his movement speed as you freeze the the water that has coalesced from the ice damage he took before that has melted through his clothes, and then the blood that's soaked through as you freeze that and crystallize it, um, the clothes become quite restrictive, and that slows his movement down. Is that... Yeah. Yes, cool. definitely, 100%. Yeah. Brilliant. Thank I'm happy to rule that's that. That's sort of the effect I was going for, so yeah. Oh, cool. All right. Easy as well. We're just arguing semantics at this point. Yeah, as, yeah. as you freeze the blood, <laughs> um, his movement speed is halved. Uh, actually, I'll do, I'll do it as a con save. I'll do it as a con save, so it's not just because it's a cantrip. He he should have some chance to save on this. I'll do it as a con save. That's fair. Because that kind of makes sense. Maybe it's a str- actually maybe it's a strength save. I'll do it as a. Oh, it's the same anyway. I'll do I'll do it as a as a strength save to kind of like crack through the ice. That kind of makes more sense to me. Um, what's your spell DC? My spell DC is fifteen. He fails. That's a fourteen. Uh, that is half his movement speed for this turn. Awesome. Uh, and then I'm just going to be looking towards Grinner, trying to get to towards him, and then that will be my turn. Brilliant, Tithler. Yeah, what's up? Uh, yeah, oh, you're, you're, um, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, I will cool, say this: cool. uh, when I think you missed one of the wolves, there's one uh, left. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, do you know what? That's absolutely fine. That wolf moves up, makes an attack against Killian, and then it's never going to die. Hopefully dies. Yeah, you know what? You're right, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you're right. Is there. The, wolf, <laughs> the wolf moves up to Tithla, and it's going to make a bite against <laughs> Tithla. Uh, that's a natural one. I'm going to say at this point, with the entire pack wiped out, and the vampire no longer kind of like guiding the wolves, the wolf buggers off and disappears. I'm happy to rule the wolf sprints away. <laughs> um, Tithla, it is your turn. Uh, cool. All right. So Tithla is going to use a bonus action to tell Drake, uh, get get over there and try and help our friends as much as you can. Uh, and then she's going to, she wants to like put her dagger back away and then find her bow and pick that up. I assume that'd be an action. Bonus action for, for changing weapons. I'm happy she's to do this bonus action. She already used a bonus action to tell Drake to do stuff. Then in that case, you can do it as an action. I'd say I, I'm happy. To, I'm happy to be that. Like if it's an action or a bonus action that you have free to do that, you can switch weapons because it's in my mind. Like in that six seconds, you can quickly sheath another weapon, pull your bow out. It's not. Well, that was what I thought changed. before. If we yeah. drop it and then pull out the dagger, to me that seems pretty chill. And then yeah, it's like it's more the interacting, picking up, cool. Uh, and then so just throw the dagger and pick up the bow. Ah, I gotta find it. It's in rubble now. Somebody broke yeah. a wheel on this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cart just <laughs> collapsed on the bow. <laughs> exactly. Uh, cool. And then Titha is just gonna move down to get closer. That's all she yeah. can do. Titha, as you uh, rush up, getting closer and closer to the combat, you can see Grinner is down and not moving. That's unacceptable. Fine. Uh, and then Jacob's also just gonna move over. Perfect. Jonah. Right, Jacob's going to dash. Perfect. Because that's yeah, all move, he's doing. Move Draco up his, what's that, 60 feet he gets to move then? 80. Whoa. He's a big boy. He's right, a I'll speedy little bish. Thank you. Uh, Jonah. Jonah sees everyone running down that way. He starts moving down as well, and he sees Grinner just laying on the ground, like blood blowing all over his chest. Uh, and... Uh, bit of anger rises up through him and he reaches into his hand where he looks at his hand starts coalescing a uh, a fire bolt and some of the the gold divination light sort of forms around it and he just hurls it into the distance casting a fire bolt very nice. fireball for a second there like good fucking luck Bruno. <laughs> <laughs> amazing uh, make me a ranged hit. spell attack 11 it just goes wide over the top of the vampire's head probably given the amount of damage you've taken in this particular combat, Jonor. <laughs> like, as you go to throw this fireball, one of your legs buckles underneath you and you just sort of drop the fireball shooting up into the air, just, <laughs> just disappearing upwards. Yeah. You've taken some pretty uh, nasty that's hits. Wrote. That's all she wrote. Yeah. Theo, you are in uh, dire wolf form still. I am. I'm going to dive off this here platform sprint myself down on the opposite side of Luther, trying to get myself in between Grinner and the vampire 
while also strategically flanking. Yeah. And then I will chomp down onto his vampire little legs. So just confirming, are you just jumping down from the top 10 feet? Or are you going to take a little detour via the five foot stairway? In my wolf form, are you still going to make me take the damage for the 10 feet? Uh, if the I just thought it sounded cooler, but I can definitely run down those stairs if you want to ruin the moment. No, I'm happy. I'm happy to <laughs> For the, for the purposes yeah. of mechanics, you head around the side. For the purposes yeah. of rule of cool, you just like launch offwards in full launch, launch form. Off, flying into a feral rage, yeah, seeing yeah. My, my, my friend Grinner go down. Your fellow oh, anger friend. monkey. Yeah, we're good friends, mate. <laughs> I'll enable your drinking for a revel. Yeah, that's true. Would you like to uh, roll to attack, please? You have a plus two. Very good. Uh, and it's an added advantage with pack tactics. Oh, because you have, uh, yeah, it is, it's just advantage. So don't worry about the plus two with pack tactics. You get advantage instead. It replaces the flanking. Does it? Could it not be both? No, it cannot. <laughs> Otherwise, the wolves would have been getting that too, mate. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's fine. Uh, that's no, a no, nine no, no. for the first one. I think you might want to roll that one again. <laughs> I do, yes, very much so. Now, take the nine. I think you should take the nine. I will take the nine, in fact. <laughs> Twelve. Uh, as you go to bite no. down, even with... Jacob and Luther on the other I, side distracting this vampire you are unable to get a so good there bite. is some, oh no I was already had advantage I was going to say I, I was going to recklessly yeah. attack but like that doesn't help me I can't double advantage this unfortunately not um, oh is, that's lame I'm sorry is that your full turn <laughs> um yep. yes yes it is bonus action. <laughs> it is Grinner yep. I'd like a death save please oh that's so too Grinner that's not good <laughs> Grinner that is one failed death saving throw Grinner, from your perspective, this is what you see and feel. Darkness surrounds you. Cold begins seeping up your arms, up your legs. And for a moment, you feel this sense of hopelessness before a tiny pinprick of light shines out from inside your chest and rises up before splitting into two and taking on the forms of the ghostly children. Rose and Thorn, that you have bonded as part of your path of the Ancestral Guardian. Luther, it is your turn. Hey, how'd the kids uh, get here? You can't see them, just grin <laughs> <laughs> I try. thought Tissy could see them. Uh, that was only when she was drunk on, uh, oh. was it Poppy, Poppy, Milk of the Poppy you were drunk on at I that point or something? Of, yeah, okay, maybe. <laughs> Fine. You were high, you were high on opium right. at that point, That's that was a once-off. Uh, Luther. That was like a day and a half ago. Yeah. All right. I am going to down. Hmm. He's failed one. Oh, hopefully someone will pick him up. I I think we're going to try and deal with Aramis. Get the threat out of the way first. So I'm just going to... Look, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I've got my pistol out. I'm just going to start shooting him even in close range. The gunner feat means that I can shoot without yep. any penalty. So, 18 goes to 20, so 8 piercing damage. That hits. And then 16 goes to 18, 9 piercing damage. That hits as well. Very nice. As these two shots fire through him, the bullets just <laughs> cutting through his flesh. He sort of winces with each, fi- with, it, with each firing and then looks towards you, Luther. I see we have a volunteer for the next victim. Good. Well, try your, try your hardest, my friend there. Uh. By all means, I will move over here though, just to try and like give him more targets in this, so he's not going to hit Grinner. Actually, yeah. no. If I've got his attention, I'll stand here Stay and keep are. him on me. Ooh. Like, try your best. Come on now, and I sort of show him my neck a little bit too, like gesturing Ooh. to give it a go, just so I'm taking full attention yeah. away from Grinner. Alrighty, uh, Aramis, his attention is focused on you. I have not drunk Let's vampire before. With pleasure. And he goes to attack you. Um, the first one is going to try and grab you so that he can bite into you. Could I please have you make me an athletics or acrobatics check to escape this grapple as he goes to... Um, I'm definitely doing acrobatics. 12 is probably not enough, though. Not enough. enough. I'm sorry. That is a 15 well, um... from him. Uh, then the next attack is a uh, 17. Happens. Does that hit? For the bite? Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. That well, is going to... 
that's okay. Oh, okay. So that's going to be six points of um, piercing damage and yep. 16 of necrotic. I'm so sorry. I rolled two sixes out of the 3d6. So what's that? Six, what is it? What's that overall? Uh, 22. Uh, okay, cool. And your hit I'm point still... maximum is reduced by 16. Okay, that's fine. I am so sorry. That is brutal. Yeah, that... As he just grabs you. How much is it reduced <gasps> by 16? Hit point maximum is reduced by 16 until... That's not fun. How happens. do you adjust that in... Um, uh, in, the... in your temporary HP, um, you can just do it as a thing, or in the notes you can do it, and we'll remember. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if there's if a way to doing specifically... A, if you're doing it on D&D Beyond, when you click yeah. on your hit points, there's, there's um, override HP. Oh, you can perfect. put what your new HP's in, and it will change oh. it, but it will keep a note yeah. of what your actual hit points are. Brilliant. Right. So I've, I've done that. I've Master just done max right. HP modifier minus 16. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> yeah. I'm um, yep. 22 out of 28 at the moment. But Brilliant. we're still up and standing. Yeah, could be worse. Um, as he bites into you, watch as he pulls back. <sighs> There's a foulness to your blood. But you are no real vampire. Not yet. Uh, Killian, it is your go. I am going to run over to Grinner. As I do, I put my sword away because obviously I only have one hand. Yep. And I pull, go down into my scarf and I pull out a symbol to Kelimvor because I'm from okay. that place. Yeah. And a, as I go to bend down and place the symbol on Grinner's chest, I'll just say Kelimvor's light. Don't take him, basically. Um, and my light hand glows with radiant energy for a second, and I will cast Spare the Dying on, on Grinner. Brilliant. So you are stable, but you are you still unconscious though. But you're just not taking death chillin'. saves. Just chilling like a villain. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. That is very very nice, Killian. Anything else on your turn? Uh, no, that's it. Tithla. Um. Here you go. Thank you. I'm just gonna move uh, just to there, and then yeah, I just, just want to shoot him. Yeah, just move down towards some market stalls. You're sort of about 40, 50 feet away. Maybe less, actually, probably 30, 40 feet away. That's great. Tizzle's going to just come in and just try and duck behind. Duck behind some of the crates in the market yeah, stalls. Yeah, just get a little bit of cover. Yeah, it's getting a bit spicy over near Aramis. Yeah. Grin is on yeah, the ground. Killian's sort of kneeling above him. Theodore's a dire wolf. Luther's just been bitten. Exactly. It's all the good stuff. Uh, so Tithla is going to cast ensnaring strike very nice and then she's going to shoot this bitch with her arrows like very. this ah does that one hit uh, uh, that's 23 definitely hit. hits yes definitely and then a 27 to hit 27 hits as well roll me two sets of damage please and did you uh, want to infuse 11. any of these with elemental energy yeah, yeah, of course, of course, of course. So 11 and 5, five so yep. 16 <clears throat> plus ooh, wherever this elemental energy is, the benefits of not being cool enough to have two tabs open like Owen. Gosh. Got three uh, that's right another now. two on that. Two more damage. Very, hey, very nice. Big damage from Drake. And yeah, then... it's, that's double normal damage. So that's, I mean, that's some big numbers right there from Drake. <laughs> 100% improvement. 100% Any, improvement. Anything else on your... 200%, really? Anything else on your turn? Uh, well, really, it's 100%. So it's increasing by that same amount. True, so it's 100 an 100% improvement or 200% uh, efficacy. Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, yeah, the ensnaring strike. So... Uh, Deck save, I believe. That hits... Uh, large... Advantage saving throw. What is it? I think it's strength a, saving be throw. Strength go. saving throw. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's going Skip to be a, a 13. DC. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's not that high DC then. Uh, I'm guessing it's it Jonah's turn in that case. Oh, 13 was the DC. Mate, I'm sorry about that. Uh, Jonah, oh, I know. believe it is your go. He's going to continue running forwards, and as he runs towards this vampire, he's reaching into his coat. He gets another firebolt ready, starts swirling it up with a bit of gold magic around the outside of it. He's in the first one he threw straight at, went past. He's going to shoot it up and down and have it burn, uh, strike down like a meteor on him. A very Ooh. small, small artillery strike. Yeah. yeah. The trebuchet. 
He's active. <laughs> oh no. That's a natural one. <laughs> that that did not work. I love the idea of it striking Grinner. <laughs> no, 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 no. And it cauterizes some wounds to stabilize as Roll the, for it. Roll no, for it. No, no, no. As the as the as the fireball just goes up, Jodor, you watch as it comes down and lands on the roof of one of the nearby houses catching a light and smouldering as this small flame starts on the thatched roof of the house across the street. I imagine I like I flipped over and I like kicked a cobblestone and just like launched it <laughs> way too far. Straight up. <laughs> Amazing. And, um, yeah, that's that's all she wrote. That's it for Jonah. Theodore, it's your turn. Alrighty. Um, staying right where I am and I will be trying to bite him again. Brilliant. Is there a way I can just make it roll with advantage? Uh, there but, is with the Beyond 20 thing. You can have it so that it always rolls with advantage, which is what, which, which is what I do. The DM. I think if you click on the Beyond 20 link. If you're on D&D Beyond, if you hold shift, it will oh. come up with a plus sign. Ah, you thank you. That's what I was after. And then wow. control with disadvantage. I cannot get a break on these rolls. Uh, that is a... That's advantage, 14. That, yeah. Oh, yeah, 14. That is just not enough to hit, I'm sorry to say. Hey, yay, yay. Anything else in your turn, Theo? Nap. Grinner, you are lying there. You are no longer making death saving throws. You feel the gentle <laughs> warmth of the two ghost children as they fill your body with um, this light of hope. Because you don't know what's happening outside. From your perspective, it kind of feels like the two, two ghostly ancestors. Uh, and you hear the sound of someone talking, but murmuring in your ear. Almost sounds like Killian speaking, but very far away. Yeah, um, I'm that's just your having turn. a factory reset. I'm, I'm good. This yeah, is just <laughs> you're reinstalling the firmware update. It's like you're ready to go. <laughs> that's right. I'll be Luther. back in no time, lads. Luther, it is your turn. All right. So I don't really want to be in combat for much longer now. So I'm like, that was uh, that was not super duper fun. So I'm just gonna uh, just gonna have a quick. Uh, Power well over here, and I'm just gonna go out of his range. She can you have an attack of opportunity this time. You still side. grappled. I'm gonna need you to oh, make me. Am I actually Ooh. grappled still? Yeah, that's so that that bite attack only uh, works when he grapples you. Right. Okay. So your speed is zero. Um, at okay. the moment. Um. Okay. Look, it's probably just better to shoot him in the face than with pistols. <laughs> I'd say at this stage, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna look and be like. Well, you got a pretty mighty fine hold there, so um, just stay, just hold still for a quick set. You're being very casual like about the dude who just bit into your throat and drank you. It's good. It, it, yeah, true. I, <laughs> it's good <laughs> footy. Lucas. He's got it. <laughs> All right, well, 24 to hit, 9, 14 to go to 16. I don't know if that hits. Yeah, 16 just hits. Oh, perfect. 9, uh, 18 piercing damage. Very nice. And But Luther's is... also never really been too much of like a super duper like loud in your face sort of no, guy he's always been pretty true. calm he would be there probably would be like he probably would still be trying to keep that cavalier sort of like cowboy swagger going but like at the same time there's probably some shakiness to his voice at least yeah anything else in your turn luther um um i will second win yeah that's probably fair and that's all i have left for that Alrighty. So it's at 1d10 plus 5. Um, I get 9 back, but it goes to 6. As the vampire has enjoyed some delicious blood within the last turn, you watch as some of the wounds begin to heal closed. Uh, Luther, Aramis has you grappled. He reaches out and bites into you again, and then he's going to swing around with his other hand and claw at Theo. Uh, That is going to be against Theo that is a uh oh wow okay okay this is gonna be interesting so against Theo that's a 26 I'm guessing that hits Theo yeah for Luther that is a 15 before you say the oh, Luther sorry I was oh, going to that's okay that's okay you jumped in my portent. yep I've seen I've seen that bite take people out before and yep. Grinner you know these these are my two traveling companions yeah companion rods from this you know from day dot just seeing one go down right. i just cannot have the other one go down <laughs> um he sees that bite coming in and he's trying to interfere with it as best he can yep um and throws an eight in there instead okay so the eight is the roll so he still adds his things on top of it oh god 
you've actually made it slightly better. <laughs> so I'm sorry to say. That's, that's now... <laughs> Because uh, visions of your friends getting torn eight, apart eight, with eight strong. plus eight. Oh, no, it's the same. It's the same. Eight plus eight plus seven is fifteen. Oh, so it's the same. Oh it's my a 15. God. Fair like, that, is, <laughs> that is such have... a Jonor thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen this <laughs> coming. Oh, <laughs> um, that was it. That's what I saw. Does fifteen hit Luther? No, I'm sixteen armor class. That's why I started sweating. Oh my you, like, God. Oh Jonor, why did you do that? I was like. Oh no, please don't tell me you made me hit that it. That is amazing. Uh, I kind of wish that uh, that had been the, <laughs> the bite doesn't connect. Um, Theo, as he claws at you, you are going to take uh, nine points of slashing damage as he Ooh. rakes across your That's flank. Half, is that well, five? Uh, half to four. Always round it down. Well, Ooh. regardless, Tom, I appreciated the, the sentiment. Thank God it ended no, out the same no. way. <laughs> Killian, it is your turn. <laughs> I will look around to the others and I'll just go, I am unable to heal Grinner back to the, into the fight anymore. I cannot do it anymore. One of you is going to need to help him. Um, and I am going to... Oh, Awu? Um, if I was to move to the other side of Theodore, who's technically in melee, yeah, yeah, would yeah. I get the flanking yes, definitely. Yep. for ranged yes, attacks? Yes, absolutely. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Yep. I'm going just to move, move to around, here. Drake and him. as I do, I'm just going to spin around, move around, and just fire two Eldritch blasts Brilliant. at him. Um, yep. I'm going Plus to go back to, to the chain effect I did in the last episode, where yeah. I'll grab a chain and just whack it at him. A blood chain. Plus two. So Twenty-three. Is Definitely 23 hits. To hit. Uh, 11, not so much. Ugh, 23 definitely. And an 11. Hits. Yeah. 23 hits. 8 damage. Brilliant. So that will be 8 points of force damage. Fantastic. As it shoots across again, that as his shoulder and dislocates. And that will be my turn. Tithla, it is your go. Yo. So. Yo. Tithla is going to reach into her bag. Yep. Pull out a little red berry. Yep. Whisper at it. As is tradition. Yep. Throw it. At old mate that I don't remember his name. Rina. Aramis. Okay. Arthos, Porthos, and Aramis. Yes. Um, that's a joke for everyone who enjoys the Three Musketeers out there. Yeah. And does nah, just me. No, no, okay, I, I enjoy the Three Musketeers. Yeah. Ah, not enough to laugh at my joke and just oh, no, leave me did not I was trying to work out if you're good Wasn't burying the, the vampire at yeah. this point and if you're pulling a full Goku tossing a sensu bean. Yeah. Or, like, <laughs> or, or if it's just some kind of spell effect. Yeah, it was Please, like, he goes, can you. It's Aramis, not a fair fight. Give me some of your energy, Goku. <laughs> then I can show you my full power. <laughs> okay, censor me. Are you censor uh, him? So yes, that is Tithla Hunter's marking. This beast. Oh, okay. If that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, and then she shall longbow attack. Brilliant. This one does a 15 hit. Uh, plus two does because of the flanking. Yes. 17 hits. Sweet. Sweet. I get plus two on that, even though I'm... Because ranked. Theodore and Luther and Dracob are all surrounding this figure, um, keeping oh, really? him under uh, under attack and making sure he can't move too far away to, to avoid the hit. So, yes, definitely. Lovely. All right. So, that first damage is... You take it off. You, you fuck no, it no. I just... I'm <laughs> trying to be fair and, you know, I don't want to cheat the system. That's true. I'm here for a you good just, time. You just want point. to cheat the system if Jonal can be killed by it. 100%. 100%. So that was an extra four points Infusion. of infused cold damage. Some cold damage, very nice. And then hurt. the hunter's mark. Yep. Is another two. Another two, brilliant. And that's the same damage that is dealt. So that was, was it? yeah. Yes. So that's two bludgeoning on yep. that one, I think. Or piercing, sorry. Two piercing. Uh, and then the second longbow attack. That's a nineteen to hit. That hits absolutely. That is. Keep yep, coming. That's five points of piercing yep. damage. Brilliant. And is Hunter's Mark every damage or is it just. Um, yeah, I think it is. Every, every damage, attack. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Whenever you hit a target yeah. with a yeah. weapon attack. There Lovely. That's what I thought. Uh, and that's an extra four on that. Four bludgeoning. Oh, no, sorry, four piercing Dimagios. Yeah. As the arrow. You pierce one of his lungs this time, Tithra, right between the ribs. He's like. Ugh. 
I'm coming for you next, little one. As he looks across okay. the field towards you. Okay, I'll be over here. <laughs> and then she'll duck down. And yeah, cool. You just duck down behind the crates. Uh, Jonah. Yeah, but then she sticks her head out the side. Just to keep So that out. she can still see. Yeah, yeah you, don't, you don't have to be blind to what's going on. No, I didn't know what's going on. Jonor, it's your go. He tumbles forwards, gets within 30 feet of the vampire. <laughs> and throws he a fireball into out. the sky. <laughs> <laughs> so <Anyway>. fireworks. <laughs> uh, he then pulls out his book again, flicks through some, some more notes, and he's like, I know why no one likes you. You're such a pain in the neck. As he casts another Tasha's hideous laughter. Oh my lord. <laughs> groans all round. I'll make another uh, wisdom save. He should also take some like, I don't know, like a D4 psychic damage. I think I should take it. Uh, it's a nine on the wisdom save. That is a fail. <laughs> as he drops to the ground, uh, laughing hysterically, uh, as he is now prone. Um, anything else in your turn, Jonor? That's all she wrote. Uh, Theodore, you have advantage on all of these attacks. You did anyway, but you still do, yeah. so carry on, my wayward son. More importantly, does he break grapple with Luther now? Yes, he does. Yes, he would hey, break grapple with Luther. Like when, he, when he falls prone laughing, yeah, he would let go. Definitely. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Yeah, definitely breaks grapple. 100%. Because when they're, when they're laughing, they're incapacitated, aren't they? Specifically, I think Tash says, yeah, well, yeah, grapple yeah, is broken when you're incapacitated. Well, specifically, so. Fuck, yeah. yes. Theo. Come on, oh, come on, Wolf. Let's time. see some damage. Pounce come on his on. neck, try and tear it out. Come on, baby. I believe in you. Oh, thank God. 18 hits. How much damage is that? Uh, seven, seven, plus two from the from the rage. Plus two from the rage. So yeah. halved is four. Theo. I match with you. How do you want to do this? Just hey. pouncing onto him as he's cackling, laughing, and just tearing his throat out, and then going back for him, just tearing up more and more of his throat until his head <laughs> is no longer attached to his shoulders. As you as you raise up the viscera hanging from your jaws, the head kind of dangling as it drops to the ground, mouth still open. You watch as the eyes kind of roll up and look at you. The mouth kind of still moving a little bit, kind of, <laughs> and then you watch as he fades into dust, slowly breaking apart, falling into this black ash. And that is where we are going to end the session for tonight. We will come back next week to see how that all plays out. Thank you so much for joining us, everybody, for a slightly longer session than normal. I hope you enjoyed a um, pretty intense combat against their first vampire. They did very well. Very, very well indeed. Well, everybody, that is all for tonight. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you stick around. We're going to go raid Corsair's Cove as we normally do on a Monday night. For everyone who's listening to this recorded, thank you so much once again. Um, again, like button or comment or subscribe, whatever the system lets you do to show some support, it really, really helps us out. We are almost at that 1,000 for YouTube, not many more to go now. So that would be amazing if we can hit that before the end of the year. I think it's looking pretty likely. So that'd be really cool if we could. But from all of us here tonight, Thank you so much. Again, thank you so much to special guest Josh from Roll Together RPG for joining us once more for a uh, brutal session of uh, vampire uh, attack, essentially, <laughs> is what this has become. Yeah. I'm just like a bad smell. You just can't get rid of me. Exactly. He's now part of the furniture. Uh, he has surgically grafted himself into this chair. Um, that seems excessive, I know, but hey, when you're that committed to the, uh, to the Roll Together community, <laughs> that's what you do. Uh, thank you, everybody. Stay safe, stay well, and we will see you all again next time. Remember, Avatar Legends tomorrow night for uh, probably what is going to be a very interesting session as they are encountering the Ember Island players and watching the second half of the play that is all about their characters. Uh, what I did was I got each of them to play the characters of each other as the actors, so for like when they were on the on the stage, because I was like, otherwise it's just me monologuing for like two yeah, I'm sessions. Gonna say, that is you just going back and forth for different voices for like an yeah. hour. <laughs> so I gave each of them the other characters, and they have these special inspiration points that they gain by fucking over their friends and comrades <laughs> by de nice. uh, by depicting them as awful people for the purposes of the Ember Island play. So I was like very happy with that. They uh, they jumped into it with gusto and immediately uh, started tearing into each other's characters, which is hilarious. <laughs> so it's definitely well worth a watch. Um, but thank you, everybody. Stay safe, stay well, and we will see you all again super soon. Remember, 
If you're watching on Twitch, don't go anywhere. Let's go raid the Corsair's Cove. Yar! That was a good play for it, voice. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye! Bye! Bye! See everyone! Thank you.